everybody today is sunday october 8th and today i'm why am i saying the date uh we're streaming genshin impact at 12 45 p.m that's when the stream is starting i well you know it's just in the vod now so i might as well just go through with it i mean <laughs> hey what's up <laughs> okay so here's the deal i haven't done nouvelette's quest yet i've been saving it i was gonna do it on thursday but then things happened on Thursday. I was busy. I didn't stream and I didn't have time until, to stream until today on a Sunday. So we're going to do Nouvellet's quest today. And we're just going to see if how good it is. We're going to say a hi to our buddy Nouvellet. Oh, it already started. Okay. Where is it? And then after that, I do think I'm pretty sure I have time to check out this event. Um, Paimon had a voiced line talking about going to the library so i guess we'll do that and then i think my next stream will be one of these of uh of world quest right here probably this one since this one says the continuing this quest will temporarily suspend some other quests like that might as well get that out of the way uh anyway a familiar threat the realms of the past day deluvi's chapter act one Mm, kind of. So many questions about his true yeah. identity. Yeah, okay. Let's go talk to him and find out. We already know. We already know his identity. Anyway. <laughs> okay. Okay. That was that was one thing I didn't like about Act Four. They're like they made it sound like it was a big reveal that he was the dragon, even though it was so obvious. We're like, <gasps> whoa, he's the dragon. Which further proves the fact that, wait, Farina is the Hydro Archon. Anyway. I'll just take my Farina Sim 1987 attempt out of here. I, I always, okay, guys, before the joke of the Bite 87, I always made a joke about the year 1987. I don't know what to say. Hi, hello, Sinful. How you doing? Oh, wow, look at this loser. Another world quest I'm not going to take. Anyway. See that? What a chump. I'll, I'll get there eventually. I'm, but I want to talk to my buddy, the dragon, talking to the cute little... You're going to go to bed? Oh, well, uh, <coughs> you should leave the stream open. Uh, you know, maybe, like, if it's on your phone, just plug it in. You know, lurking's cool. I think lurkers are the coolest things ever. Anyways, he's talking to cute little Melazine. I love that, the way he treats him. Wait, uh, did I hear that right? Monsieur Nirvalet, are you sure you'd like to take over the case yourself? Yeah, it's fine, Sedan. That's right. Sedane? I don't know. I don't oh, want to say it. Why? Sedane? Technically <laughs> speaking, cases like this are better left to the guards. Guys! Yeah, Sedane! Hey there! What are you two talking about? Oh, yes, we know Sedane. Actually, no, I think we did talk to her once before. Uh, Traveler and Paimon, please help me talk our Chief Justice out of this. He wants to investigate a case on his own. No, What's up with that? How can we have the Udex acting like a private detective? I can introduce huh? you to some amazing detectives if you want. I trust that you'd be able to work that out with how well connected you are. But I must I, apologize. Uh, Hazo, I, I guess. I do not plan on relying on anyone else's help for this matter. Which is why, obviously, I have to tag along. Right, so Nouvellet? what is it exactly? It sure sounds serious if it's something you've got to investigate personally. It's a no pal of mine. The named Kiara received a threat letter. No, that's messed up. And then? That is all the information I have acquired at this stage. Yeah, no, he has to step in. How dare you threaten the cute Melazines? Huh? Uh, I have no idea why you're so hung up over this. I don't know, I kind of get it. I've checked the schedule in advance, and it seems like there aren't any trials today. So, if you insist... Uh, I have no objections. Well, you don't have any anything. You don't have anything over him, but I guess. Thank you for understanding. Yeah. I will even note explaining. Your understanding my is great. <laughs> I would appreciate it if you could take it to Lady Farina. Lady Farina, can I talk she to her, please? She may have no interest in official affairs, but standard procedure dictates that I'm still responsible for reporting to her. Yes, yes, understood. <gasps> yes, yes. I'll come back later yes, yes. and deliver the note to her. Okay, go, go do that, Sadine, or whatever. <laughs> uh, the fact that they don't have any Tell different walking Sadine animation, she has to skip. It must be pretty rare for you to investigate stuff personally. What's so special about this case? Because it's threatening a Malzahn. I cannot tell you just yet, but it reminded me of certain past events. Mm, okay. There could be complicated conflicts of interest behind all this, so I must eliminate all risks in advance. Hmm. Care to explain in detail? Oh, come on, stop being so secretive. We 
still have no idea what's going on. I mean, we kind of do. It is not my intention to keep you in the dark, but I need some time to revisit those memories and collect my thoughts. Okay. Go drink your water, have a good time. Short, a little more than 400 years ago, I became the Udex of Fontaine and initiated a series of institutional reforms. Like giving the Melozine's jobs, there right? There were a few people I could trust, but I had two subordinates who were exceptionally trustworthy and capable. Carol, a Melozine, and Vautrin, leader of the Special Security and Surveillance Patrol. I feel like one of them might be dead. They must have been amazing 400 years ago? to receive such high praise from you. Indeed. Indeed. Unfortunately, I wasn't able to protect Oh, them. they're both dead. Okay. The reforms damaged the interests of some. And the more conservative faction took advantage of Carol's identity to instigate political unrest. Ultimately, they wanted me to yield more of my power. Honestly, it kind of... Th those. There's like a few lines they used in the 4.1 version trailer that made it sound like it was a part of the Archon quest. But they were, there were just things that happened 400 years ago. I feel like that's kind of messed up, editing-wise. Because they made they made almost anyone assume, like, oh, yeah, that's happening in the Archon Quest. Because that's the there's two parts, but nope, it didn't. I didn't hear it at all. And it's just in Nouvellet's character story, and it's something that happened 400 years ago. It's kind of, eh, but, you know, what do I know about editing or anything like that? Own life and Vautrin being exiled. From then on... I've been especially careful when dealing with cases related to Melazines. Oh, cool. We're just a few lines into this, and we're talking about suicide. Awesome. Concerned that you're the perpetrator's real target? Seems like they're using Melazines against... Like, they're using Melazines against you. All Melazines used to live a secluded life away from human society. I know. I've been there. I granted their wishes when some of them, including Carol, asked me to bring them to the court of Fontaine. Oh, well, good job. Many common folk believe that I share a special bond with the Melazines and... Whatever they do can be traced back to me. Some of them, especially those who hold a grudge against me, exploit that belief and stir up conflict over Melazines in an attempt to lay the blame on me. How dare they? I have nothing against They're just doing the their opinions job. of others. But the moment a whirlpool of conspiracy forms, it inevitably affects the innocent. Yeah, guys. Go. That has already happened once. I don't know. And do I want something. to make sure it does not happen again. Okay. Um, even so, why do you have to be the one investigating? Uh, maybe so they're scared? I don't There's know. The guards, the Mari Chose Phantom, and the Special Security and Surveillance Patrol. That's too many. Aren't they more than enough to figure out what's going on? But it's Based personal. Based on experience, there is a high chance that those who hold hostility towards me do not belong to the same department. The political system of Fontaine is relatively complex, and involves the interests of multiple different factions. Mm -hmm, yep, I'm, I'm However, keeping up. Don't worry. It's not even that difficult. I'm just not. In Fontaine, I'm just zoning out. A lot of out. trouble could be avoided if I personally took on the case. That is true. He, he takes on the case. Problem solved. Outsider. But aren't you the Chief Justice of Fontaine? Why would you be an outsider? You probably was one 400 years ago. I understand where you are coming from. But there is not necessarily a connection between my responsibilities... And how I perceive myself. But you're a dragon. You know very well about my true identity, and have even met others of my kind in other nations. The Hydro Dragon Sovereign. Wait, I met other ones? What are their names? Yeah, apparently everyone on Twitter is just throwing any dragon out there that would be a sovereign. Like, someone, say, someone was saying Azure was, but no, he wasn't. He was literally made from Zhongli. So how would Azure be the the dragon sovereign that's not how it works they're all older other than apep of course apep that's a, that's another one that you know what i'll shut up i'm just saying i i remember someone trying to say asdaha was one of those but he ain't even though i'm pretty I sure with i don't a know human form, i'm pretty bad there's a fundamental difference with between dragons in this and game. humans taking on the role of chief justice does not make me a part of this community in fact, the status I was granted has prevented me from forming deeper bonds with others. Except for Mui. I've lived in Fontaine for a long time, but I do not belong here. Oh. That is why I call myself an outsider. A fish out of water. Wow, he sounds so happy to be here. Well, we're also outsiders to Fontaine. Yeah, we have nothing to do with all those organizations anyway. So how about we come with you on your investigation? I'm literally an outsider in any country i go to here so i mean yeah that's just how it goes 
<laughs> that does not sound like a bad idea. <laughs> I rarely investigate cases on my own, but with professionals like you around, I'm sure it will go a lot smoother. Oh, yeah, I'm totally professional. I know everything. Oh, I'm, I'm just, to I'm just like that. Just leave it to us. I will write my note of absence right away. Let us depart together once I'm done. His note. I'm sorry, but I have to go. Writes a note to Farina Let and sits go. on the desk. We should visit Kiara first and try to gain a better understanding of the situation. All right, let's go talk to her. Why am I slurring my words on purpose? I need to stop that. Oh, okay. Um, so Nuthalet feels like he doesn't truly belong here in Fontaine, but is that really true? Uh, probably. I mean, he said it. Pinot feels like he has a kind of skewed perspective on a lot of things. But he's a, he's anyway, a dragon. Anyway, let's catch up with him first. Yeah, well, you wouldn't have to catch up if you did. If you could just shut your trap, Paimon. Uh, I'm just kidding. Anyways. Been thinking. You called yourself a fish no. out of water, right? Yes. If you're the Hydro Dragon. Would a dragon out of water suit you better? Oh, shut up. <laughs> that Thank you for your suggestion. I will consider using the more accurate term in private occasions. <laughs> okay, Paimon. Phrase. Has a dragon out of water? No, why are you even letting uh, Paimon go off? That sounds kind of weird. Let's stick with the previous version instead. Okay, well, thanks. Thanks for literally nothing. <laughs> literally nothing but two extra lines. She's like, um, actually, you are a dragon. So, you should... <laughs> uh, shut up. Yeah, exactly. You should, you should just shut up. I'm just saying, how dare someone mistreat a poor Melzyme? Unless it isn't a past event. I just assumed it was a past event. <laughs> yeah, whatever. We'll get to it. We'll, we'll get to lines. We'll finish it in two hours, probably. That's like the average amount of time it takes for a character story. Last one we did was Linny's. <laughs> Honestly... First hour and a half was pretty good. The last half hour stretched out to oblivion and too much stuff. But you know, Nouvellet, you can be different. He is very lore important. <laughs> oh, yes, she pointed at her and she nodded. Yes, that is us. <sighs> the weather's amazing today. Oh, well, she's having a good time. That's good. Kiara. Kiara. Mm -hmm. Monsieur Nouvellet, and you are? Hey, that's close to Kirara, guys. That's oh, crazy. I remember. You're the Traveler and Paimon. I've heard about you. Oh, the wave. Aw, she's adorable. Hey there, it's nice to meet you. Imagine if someone said that to, like, anytime you look, walk up to them. That'd be so weird. It's like, oh, you're adorable. Anyways, hi. It's a <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for the compliment. Is there anything I can do for you? Well, she's. I am pretty sure they're all. Melzine's all used to it because they're, they're just a bunch of humans here. I they're heard like, oh, from so Sadine that she received a threatening letter. A threatening letter? Oh, right. I remember now. The letter fell through the crack in my door as I was heading out this morning. Oh, this morning? It said something about catching me, so I thought someone wanted to play hide and seek. I don't think that's what but they wanted. Sadine told me it was a threatening letter and that I could be in danger. But. That's not gonna happen with everyone looking after me, right? I don't know. You have too much trust, have you but. Have run into any suspicious-looking people recently? <laughs> suspicious-looking people? What counts as suspicious? Someone who always strikes up a conversation. Ah, someone who follows you from behind. Maybe. Ah. <gasps> Did you think of something? Nope. <laughs> I nope. don't remember meeting anyone like that. She just want to make a sound. Uh. Do you still have the letter with you? I want you to show me what it says. Oh, uh, let's see. Found it. She just has it? I mean, that makes sense. Okay, how? I can't read that. Can you read it, Nouvellet? I can't read. Then, I'm illiterate. <clears throat> Get lost. If you don't leave the Mare Chaussee Phantom, I will come and catch you in person. Don't say I didn't warn you. Get lost? Oh, okay, well, I didn't <clears throat> say a lot. Oh, oh, there's a, a camera. Threat. Neither the handwriting nor the content itself reveals anything about the writer's intentions. Well, hey, that'd be cool if, if that was uh, Charlotte's camera and Charlotte came up and then she was here. 
That'd be really cool. You know what? They should give her a hangout because I love her so much. I mean, <clears throat> are they concealing their identity on purpose? No freaking duh. They're about to do we something can't illegal. Out that possibility. Since you can't think of anyone suspicious, I will be heading back to the Palais Memonia to review some official documents. Kiara, you should come with us. It's safer if you stay close by. Yeah, we gotta keep her sure. safe. Sure. Wait, no, no, no. I, I still have a case to work on. I promised Ilaf that I'd check on her place later. But you are being watched right now. Going off on your own could be dangerous. Yeah. That's you gotta, where we come in to you gotta be careful. We'll stay with Kiara and make sure she's safe. With us around, anyone scheming to hurt Kiara can forget about it. That finger thing Thank Paimon you, does, man. So goofy. Paimon. Uh, someone called her Big Sis Paimon. That's never happened. Anyway, Big Sis uh, Paimon, huh? No, you're not. You're freaking All weak right. as heck. Let anyway. Let us go our separate ways for now. Please take care of Kiara. We'll take her to of course. Right away. See you around. Well, we're going to ditch Nouvellet. I mean, I... So, Kiara, okay. how old are you? Hmm. Let me think. One, two, ten. ten. Uh, I'll match the speed. Remember. Ten what? Could be thousand. I remember coming to the Court of with Carol and Nouvellet. That must have been a long time ago. Yeah, 400 years ago. They're all old. Did Nervala mention her just now? Yeah. That was more than 400 years ago. Why would Paimon be a big sister to you? You're probably older than that, let's be honest. My memory isn't that good. But Carol told me I could address others based on how I feel about them. Oh, okay. Paimon feels a lot more grown up than me, so... You're yeah, um, okay. I don't know. You don't know her the way I know her, but sure. Paimon does not see. Hey, Traveler, did you hear that? I disagree. What am I supposed to hear? Hey, look, it's Ilof! Hey, what's up? I was walking behind her the whole time. No way. Oh, there is someone being sus. Strange. Paimon felt like someone was following us. I wonder if they're red and from among the shell. No, <laughs> the way she waves. Kiara, you're here. Huh? Wait, aren't these two... Really cool? Yeah, we are. Oh, they're mm -hmm. the Traveler and Big Sis Paimon. Who? I thought so. What brings you here? We're on a secret mission. We're protecting Kiara. Did you run into any trouble? Eh, it's not really trouble oh, anymore yeah. with that Oh, yeah. Play man. that. My favorite song in the game playing in the... Oh, not my favorite song of all time. I see that red back there. Don't think I don't. See, I'm going to circle it just in case you can't. It's okay. May I begin inspecting the store as planned? Of course. What are you inspecting for? Um, <laughs> health stuff? What are you looking at? <laughs> okay. Hmm. No hazards detected. You've cleared the inspection. I don't think you tried. Seems like the criminal from that case last month never set foot in here at all. Oh, uh, uh, wait. Quick. I forgot. What were you inspecting? <laughs> I forgot Melanzine sees stuff differently than than humans. So maybe she d does have some weird sense or whatever. I took a look around the shop. Nubilet says that us Melazines have special eyes that can see things people can't. Hey, I was just saying that, actually. That's crazy. It's like blood stains. No matter how hard you try to clean them up, we Melazines can see their residual stains for some time. Pretty cool, huh? Cool, but also scary. Yes. All right, all right. Now that you're done inspecting, can we have a chat? Hear me out. I'm planning to release an outfit for children next month and wanted to hire you as my model. Is that okay with you? Uh, do they have... I mean, I guess they have quite human... Oh, uh, whatever. Children, huh? Of course. Is there anything I need to do? Exist. Please wait a moment while I take your measurements. This sample should be a perfect fit. Seems okay. Like they get along really well. I see it. Eh, eh, eh. Okay, hasn't moved at all. It's the same huh? spot. <laughs> what are you looking at? I think there's someone over over there. You don't see the red behind us the other direction. Is there really someone watching us? It's right Shh. there. There's no Let's way that's just. A, take a look. There's no way that's just an NPC standing there, right? Bro, oh, back here. Hey, hey, there's water back here. Why are you standing back here, you freaking weirdo? Oh, oh, see, wait, Charlotte. Okay, so it was Charlotte. I'm right, but also her red hat was over here. What was the one back here? Or someone's posing as Charlotte. 
I'm actually confused because the red hat moved. Anyways, hey, what's up, Charlotte? Maybe I uh, saw so I was right. Strange. Why isn't he back yet? Oh, or she saw the other guy and she's following the guy and Charlotte's the best. I love how much Charlotte's in here. Like she, she wasn't an Archon in Quest a lot, but like you could throw her anywhere. You know, she's great. She she'll fit in. <laughs> Charlotte, what are you doing here? Let's go, Charlotte. Drop. I'm still here, hoping that she's on the same banner as Farina, so I don't have to do, so I don't have to roll for the second half, please and thank you. Oh wait, don't tell Paimon you're the one who sent Kiara that threatening letter. Like you don't seem like the type to. She would. Threat letter. What threat letter? Oh my gosh, guys, you just let it slip. What are you doing here exactly? Uh, this is starting to feel like an interrogation. No, it is. Don't worry. Okay, I'll be straight with you. I don't know the slightest thing about that threat letter you mentioned. I only wanted to follow Monsieur Nouvellet and request an interview with him. Oh, well, he's doing his job. You want to interview him? He's not around here. That's right. I'm not the only one, you know. Interviewing him is every journalist's dream. But well, you're the only journalist that matters. Accomplish. The Palais Mermonia rarely accepts appointment requests from us, and we never have the chance to interrupt when the court's in session. That so makes you sense. See how surprised I was seeing him out on the streets today. It's why am I? Why am I look mad? Something too. The perfect opportunity to whip up an exclusive, don't you think? Totally. Of course, I'll make sure to turn in my manuscript to him for review. I have my principles, and I'd never publish an article without the consent of all parties involved. Oh darn! You're not gonna get nothing. I don't think he'd agree. It's better if we kept the secret. Yeah, we're doing a secret investigation that can't be made public knowledge. I see. Why not? Well, we can slander anyone so. who tries to threaten Melzines. What a shame. Chances like this don't come by very often, you know. In exchange, could you tell me what the threat letter is about? I swear I won't tell. She won't tell? Okay, okay. Well, maybe we could say All something. Right, then. Best character. Uh, uh, tell Shara about the letter Kiara received. What? Someone's targeting a cute little Melazine. That's what I'm saying. What's up with that? Not so loud. She said she wouldn't tell. Just and look so at her. It happens that I did an interview with Kiara. Last month, in fact. Wow, well, she just well does everything. By our readers, so I was planning to continue the series. And now someone's coming after her. Well, they probably can't. They're probably coming after her because people have said. I mean, I mean, I've I've said something about Charlotte's story. The fact that you know, some people, a lot of people, try to get her out of the picture. So I mean, maybe targeting a Kiara is a non-direct way to target Charlotte at the same time and that's probably why she's getting targeted in the first place anyways I'll ask my colleagues about it who knows we might find something and don't worry i know what i'm doing this secret's safe with me except and also the other all, everyone else i ask about it even if i keep my lips sealed others will know eventually why why a great deal about monsieur nouvellet's each the walls every have ears pine on already realized that something was up besides the case involves melazines so so anyway anyway i'll get going now watch yourselves all right yeah totally i'll watch myself uh, I'll, I'll have a third person okay, camera behind me at all times mm. let's head back and check on kiara she said that so that was a nice chat okay chill chlorine chlorine she's just here chilling all right you know i'll always take what some time think? for chlorine the design looks pretty good huh I don't see it. I think it's great. Huh. It's very pretty indeed. Wait, actually, what are you doing here? You're just standing here. Coran, what are you doing here? That's what I'm saying. It seems that you just showed up out of nowhere. That's exactly what happened. As I passed by the Palais Mermonia, I heard that Nivellet was investigating a case with you. Yeah, he kind of went the other direction. Technically speaking, he and I are under an employer-employee relationship. It didn't feel right to have my employer personally take on such trivial cases. Okay, I will say that's probably the reason they probably showed Charlotte there is to imply that the person with the camera was someone else because she didn't know about the case whatsoever. I have that's probably what that meant at the moment and came to take a look. I sometimes have my clothes custom made at this boutique in any case, so we always have a lot to talk about. Yeah, maybe they could custom make it a little bit better. Like what? They did this button thing on purpose, but like seriously, you could you could see it struggling. Oh, Nervalet, sure is lucky to have someone like you. Saying you should, your tailor should be a little leave bit this to me. nicer. You should go meet up with Nivellet. Okay then, we'll leave Kiara in your hands. <sighs> Come on, we 
let's go find the relay. Yeah, Clorind is trustworthy, guys. We we trust Clorind. Um, where is he? What the? What is he? What the heck is he doing back up here? It says a familiar threat. It's supposed to be. For, he's just back in the palace, Mari uh, Mermonia. Yeah, I can read French. What are you talking about? Nah. Oh, wait. Uh, it's the other way. It, bro, one of these days. I will help you one day, Ione. Or however the heck you say that stupid name. Unless, hey, if that's someone's name in chat, then it's totally fine. Okay, he's looking out the window. Looks like he's getting stuff done. Oh, you're back. Ah, uh, this is world. Um, yeah, it's, it's, it's chill. Maybe Girl, let me talk. She offered to help us protect Kiara. That is good to hear. I trust her abilities. Me too. It looks like Kiara is in good hands. We thought so too. Well, did you find any leads? No. I've been looking over the case records, specifically inspection reports submitted by Kiara and major cases I've judged over the past decade. How's that been going? I've come up with two plans. On one hand, I could start with Kiara and track down the group behind all this step by step. Or on the other. I could also analyze the conflicting interests of these major cases and confirm my suspicions if there is indeed a mysterious group that bears a grudge against me. Hey, probably. There's probably a lot of people that do, even though they're stupid. Hmm. They both sound like pretty solid plans, but can you really finish browsing through all these documents? That's a lot of reading, even for Paimon. You say even for Paimon. You just started reading books recently. Don't worry. You liar. I'm a fast reader when it comes to official documents. After all, I have several hundred years of reviewing under my belt. Oh, how's that been going? Well, you read through them. I want to read your water you reviews on the newspaper. Thank you. I will continue looking through the ones piled up on the desk, but feel free to browse through anything else in this room. Bruh. Okay, well, hey, we're going to read. Let's go. Oh, wow. This is a about... The bribery case. No, oh, no, I'm gonna read all this, aren't there? There's been a severe bribery scandal within the guards. The special security and surveillance patrol have has investigated the case. All suspects involved have been arrested. The suspects have confessed to their crimes. Okay, well, good. That one's solved. How about the Spina de Rosola? De Rosole, whatever. Callus, boss of the Spina de Rosal, was defeated in the in the duel and died of serious injury, serious injuries. The defense of his honor has now come to a close. The defendant did not raise any objections throughout the trial. L Ludex uh, Nouvellet reserved judgment in this case. Its details are still under investigation. Well, we solved that problem, so that's good. Worsely, the worst. The defendant, Worsley, has confessed to his crimes and was declared guilty by L Udex, Ludex Nouvellet. Worsley will be ex exiled to the Fortress of Meripede, where he will be serving his sentence. During the trial, Novelet remained silent for a long time. Okay, well, screw that guy, am I right? About the Representative Council's proposal. What did they say? The Representative Council has filed a request to collaborate with the Mara Chess's, Ch Chess's Phantom on certain public events. Like what? Based on research, they believe that Melozines can enhance the popularity of these events. The Mars Chaz Phantom can't read that as yet to respond. However, it has not prohibited the Melzines from participating in such activities. Okay, well, I don't think... The smuggling case, that's my favorite one, actually. The smuggling case was solved by the Joint Forces, the Guards, and Mara Chaz Phantom. The principal offenders have received judgment based on the sever severity of their crimes. Please refer to the appendix for the list of names. Okay, well, we sure, sure as heck read everything. Didn't learn much. Not gonna lie. But hey, maybe I, I did. Have you work. made any progress? I read things. We skipped through some of them, but there wasn't anything useful. Or was there, Paimon? You never know. Oh, there are so many documents lying around. Just how many cases have you handled? Hey, he's been doing it for four years. Like, what do you want from him? I would love to answer that question, but the truth is, I've never made a precise calculation myself. That's fine. I don't. If memory serves me right, there should be at least. 100,000 cases. The documents you see are just a small fraction of what's really there. 100,000? Hey, that's pretty good. Whoa. That's a lot. Looks like the work of a chief justice isn't easy at all. And did you think it was easy before? That might be how it seems from another's perspective, but trials and official duties are, to me, 
simply routine. Also, I'm really old and I've been doing this for hundreds of years. There are many documents here. Take a break if you are tired. Oh, I'm so tired. Oh, yes. Oh, <laughs> we read five cases. Gotta go to bed. All right. Let us take a break then. Maybe over a spot of tea. I'm, I'm sorry. I'm drinking coffee, though. I just want to see someone barge through that door for no reason. <clears throat> Why are you coughing? Uh, okay. We're just sitting here. Uh, <sighs> even though resting is a part of taking a break, shouldn't we at least talk about something? We shouldn't, Paimon. Maybe, maybe you need to shut up. Maybe you can learn a thing or two if you but shut up. Silence is making Paimon feel really awkward. Well, that's on you, Paimon. I'm sorry. That's not my fault. Please pardon my lack of consideration. People rarely come to the Palais Memonia for matters outside of work. To be quite honest, I am not sure what we should do. I mean, we could sit here... Would you like to have some drinks, perhaps? Oh, yes, please. You must be thirsty after all that work. All that work. I read five pieces of paper. Oh, please. Thank you. Shot, 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 shot. Mm. He's going to get water. Likes to drink. Water. Oh, maybe he's a fan of really fancy wine. Oh, that'd be cool. He seems like the type of person who'd own an entire winery. You know, like Tilu. Nah, he would never. He owns the ocean. Momentarily leaves and brings back silver exquisite wine glasses. Uh, what's inside these glasses? It looks just like water. Why, of course, it's primordial seawater. No, I'm kidding. An astute observation. It is indeed water. <laughs> there he goes, swirling it. Take a sniff, bro. That, that was the weirdest thing I've ever said. So it's just plain old water? Well, that's not very nice. What did you think it was? You got a problem with water? Guys, water is awesome. Make sure to drink water regularly. I say that, this but all I drink is, is coffee. Very special. It would not be an overstatement to call it sophisticated. Uh -huh. You don't know where it's from, Paimon? I believe you've already tried Fanta. In fact, there are many other drink factories in Fontaine, including those that specialize in packaging pure drinking water. Nope, oh, yes. Said mm -hmm, water mm -hmm. is sourced from all across Tibet. Including Mondstadt's Cider Lake. Good stuff. The U.S. Chintsa Village. Eh. And Inazuma's Konda Village. Konda Village has water? Eh, it has a well, but I wouldn't Here think it's that good. Here is one of their latest products. Water from Sumeru's Apam Woods. Oh. They're all just water, aren't they? Hey, hey, you don't understand. Okay. If I were to comment on their mouthfeel, hmm, the waters of Cider Lake warm the heart. The waters of Chintsa Village have a poignant touch. Poignant, yeah. Well, mm -hmm. one might call the waters of Konda Village placid. Bad. Distinct okay. Distinct differences exist between the waters of each area. You will appreciate their intricacies once you taste them. Bro, he's before. like a redditor on r slash water. Anyway. <laughs> and then you're going to think it tastes lame. I will agree with this guy. I am a water snob myself. I drink double filtered water. If my water's not double filtered, please get it out of my face. I need my special water for me, okay? What do you no think? other water is allowed in my mouth. <clears throat> Tastes like water! Uh, nope. Paimon couldn't taste any difference at all. Isn't this just normal water? It's fine. Paimon's just a chump. She doesn't get it. <sighs> How regrettable. It seems like you still have a long way to go in refining your taste. That's what I'm saying. Hey, this doesn't have to do with refining our taste. Yes, it does. I'm pretty sure most ordinary people can't tell the difference. How did you do it anyway? I can tell the difference. It's oh, not that bad. Because you're the hydro dragon? That could be the case. Uh, hey, I didn't drink it. We are allowed to bring that up, right? Since no one else is around? No, there's a camera right over there. Well, Oh, is that Charlotte behind a bush? No. <laughs> okay, nah. Dragon, why would you become chief justice in human society? I don't know. No, he knows. Uh, sorry. Paimon was just curious. You don't have to answer. Oh, no, he'll answer. There's nothing to hide. I was simply organizing my thoughts. Yeah, Paimon, give him time. 
I accepted this position because I wanted to seek out answers to questions that have perplexed me. He also wants to judge every single god from every other nation, except for Nahida, because she did nothing wrong. Questions? <laughs> Are there really things you can't figure out? Many, in fact. Yeah, you don't but know the everything. the question that puzzles me the most concerns my own existence. You're a dragon. Instance, I neither know why I was born in this form, nor do I understand where my long life should take me. Maybe to the end of time, I, I guess. I lost many memories from the moment I was born. The primordial sea, for example. I can only vaguely recall its connection to me, but I am unaware of what that connection is exactly. Yeah, you probably came from it. Is there anyone who can answer those questions? Perhaps the elemental dragons of other nations may have some form ah, of an answer. Let's go ask Apat. However, they are scattered across all of Tevat. Abruptly visiting could very well pose an unpredictable risk. Nah, nah, me and Apep are, are, are chill. I go over and hang out with Apep once a week and kill it, the thing. Well, I, I beat the, the boss inside of the dragon. Uh, yeah, so I know we're, we're, we're chill. That's true. Some of them have very unique personalities, too. I only remember Apep. I, am I supposed to remember other ones? I have been holding on to these unanswered questions for a long time. But there is one thing I've discovered along the way. My emotions easily resonate with those of others. Even I don't have the slightest idea what they mean. <clears throat> my guess would be that there are at least some similarities between humans and myself. Oh, obviously. By observing their behavior, perhaps I could one day understand the meaning of my existence. Hmm, I see. Let's do some human practice for humans. Have you made any progress then? Though, to be fair, I'm from a completely different uh, world. He's a dragon. She's not, definitely not human. No one even knows what she is. So, I mean, we're kind of like the oddest group of people here. Perhaps, but I find I was able to fly in describe. the past. So. <laughs> As an outsider, chances to engage in meaningful interactions with others are few and far between. Must That's judge everyone. I'm quite thankful for this chat. Such opportunities are rare. Oh, you smile. <laughs> Alas, time is limited. We should move on with our investigation. Yeah, time is limited. Also, you've been alive for thousands of years. Anyway. Let's <laughs> continue reading these documents. Uh, I'm getting dizzy already. I well, wasn't able to find you didn't read nothing. even after browsing through most of the documents. But while we were on the topic of water a moment ago, another idea came to me. What if we let the primordial seawater kill everyone in Fontaine? Problem solved. Water? Do you mean... The Fountain of Lucene? That's right. You know where they asked for, uh, what was his name? Fauché! The Fountain of Lucene the is murderer. where all the fountain's waters converge. It is the vessel of countless memories and emotions. And if you go there, you could hear uh, Farina crying. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's really great. If were an Gotta organization attempting to use Melusines against me, they should also hold an intense resentment towards me. Perhaps we'll be able to find right. some new leads by sensing the hydro element within the fountain. I always hear things near that fountain, so I, I got you. Why didn't Paimon think of that? Because you're stupid. Come on, let's go take a look. <laughs> Perhaps we should go. There shouldn't be too many people near the fountain of Lucene during the evening. Yeah, just watch it be midday when I get there. Wow. I can read this all again for no reason. Can I read anything back here? That'd be pretty cool. Nope, okay. I need to stop doing the weird thing with my voice. Uh, yep, Fountain of Lucene. I have it at level 27, I think. Not 30. I think 30 is the max for 4.1, probably. Because I couldn't max out the Tree of Dreams, I think it's called, in Valnorana. You know, like, I couldn't get it to level 50 until 3.4, which was this area here. Wait, 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 wait. 3.6? Cause yeah, wait, 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 okay. 3.0, then we had 0.1, and then just skip 0.23, yeah, 3.4, okay. 3.6, okay. <laughs> this last area here. Uh, and I'm excited, cause 4.2 is gonna get a new area too. I don't know why I bring that. Also, Let's how much do I have? I know I don't have enough for another level, I'm just curious. Oh, pff, wow, God, this makes me look like a loser. R2? Claymore? I, I could also have an R2 this, but I was like, nah. And uh, what does this even do? Energy reach? What? Do you, who needs that much energy recharge unless your name is Raiden Shogun? Uh, eight. 
Yeah, okay, that makes sense. 39,000 primary gems, though, guys. I mean, pff, I don't need to brag, but I'm definitely bragging right now. Uh, I probably shouldn't disturb them. Yeah, don't. Actually, no. What do you I have to say? What's going on? Okay. Why do they give you a line, Corn Corneli? Bruh, a few letters away from Cornelius. Don't know what that means. It sounds Looks like a like stupid name. Today. There's hardly anyone around. Oh, well, hey, you can almost hear Far Farina's crying uh, from here. What should we do next? Oh, <gasps> Traveler, can you still hear the voices from the fountain? Yeah, should I drink more primordial seawater? Perhaps leave the investigation to me. I need you to take a few steps back and keep a safe distance. All right, what are you going to do? Explode the fountain? A safe distance? Nevelette, what exactly are you... <laughs> He's going to put his cane on the ground. Oh, Oh, he's just like that. Ooh. Well, I... So, are we going in the fountain? <gasps> the memories of the water. As the fountain loosening lights up, a wave of dizziness washes over you. Okay. I love dizziness. Oh! Black and white. That's cool. <sighs> what just happened? Everything looks a, a little different than how they are normally. I should continue forward and take a look around. Oh, I love it when I do these story sections like this. It's very cool. See, like this. Especially since it's black and white. Man, this looks. This just looks dope as heck. I'm glad they did this. Uh, I mean, they started doing something like this in uh, minus the black and white in Kari Bear, where you would you were in the area. Uh, in that one area for like most of the quest because you were in the past in your uh, previous siblings memories Carol okay we got oh wow this this is from like 400 years ago then, right? thank you for bringing us here Monsieur Nebelet. the court of Fontaine is truly incredible there's so many things I've never seen or heard before mm, too bad she's dead I understand your excitement but there's no need to thank me <laughs> excuse although me. I have responded to your wishes it was not without personal interest. Uh oh. <laughs> Melusine's special sight make them especially suited for joining the Mare Chausse Phantom. Mm hmm. Mare Chausse. They will become an indispensable part of Fontaine's detective force. Oh, yeah. I know. But I'm really glad to be of help. Not only can I repay you for your kindness, but also, it feels like my life has become a lot more meaningful. Yeah, woo! But a meaningful life also comes with its risks. Uh, well, I mean, not a non-meaningful life is just boring, though, so... It's definitely yeah. the safest to just stay in the village. But I want to see the outside world nonetheless. Oh, man, how innocent. In truth, I've never really understood the purpose of my existence. Existing. Or what I'm capable of contributing to this world. Hey, hey, aren't don't we all, huh? For almost twenty years, we've stayed in our village without finding any answers. Four hundred twenty years ago. That's why we wanted to leave our village and look for the meaning of our existence elsewhere. Bro, they were blazing it back then. <sighs> okay. I understand your confusion. In fact, I feel the same way. I too Dang. came here for an answer to my questions about my own existence. I think you're still looking for that too. Really? Could you tell us what we should do to fit in as you did? Uh, put on a outfit is, maybe. Many people threw rocks at us today and told us to go back to our village. It hurt a lot when they hit me in the head. And I tried really hard not to cry. Wow, these guys are freaking jerks. They see they um uh, Oh my gosh, that's messed up. Uh, <laughs> anyway. Speaking, both time and effort are essential when different species attempt to peacefully coexist. It will be a difficult road ahead with countless obstacles to overcome. Well, I, I don't know why they would throw rocks at them. They're so cute. They're like, eh. Well, you know, you know, guys, it was 400 years ago. We'll just say that. Problem different solved. Different identities and ways of thinking all contribute to strengthening the barrier between one another. Removing it will be no easy feat. There are All right. suggestions I can share, because just like you, I haven't fully integrated into this society. Despite my social status, I am still an outsider. Oh, I see. Let's all do our best then. Yeah. I'm wow. I'm confident that we'll find the meaning of our existence one day. Hey, that's the line that was in the thing. I believe in you, but you shouldn't lose sight of the difficulties ahead. If you run into any trouble. 
I suggest that you inform Votran, the captain of the Special Security and Surveillance Patrol. Ah, yes, of course. Huh? Is he the person I met in the Palais Marmonia earlier? Yep, yeah, uh-huh, yes. totally. Do you have any concerns? That stone-faced human. He didn't even bother to look at me when I tried talking to him. How dare he? It felt like he wasn't interested in anything but work. What a loser, actually. I mean, imagine only being interested in your job. Man. There will be plenty of opportunities to work together in the future, so please try to get along. Oh yeah, of course, yeah, yeah, yeah. Too bad they're both dead now! Ever searching memories, explore the nearby area. Well, I can't really go much of anywhere. What, if, does Paimon come out if I go this direction? I'm just curious. There's nothing here. Oh, hey, Bama didn't come out. You know what? Good job. I probably shouldn't go too far just to be safe. Hey, look, they put different lines in there. You know what? I'm proud of you. Now let's go down this nice, beautiful pathway. And I guess we're just going to see stuff from 400 years ago. Wow. Badrico. Badrico. Uh, no. Get lost. Thanks, but no need. Oh, yeah, he actually kind of sounds like that. Oh. Bruh, how about you go to the gym? Anyway. <laughs> Why are you still skipping? Hello, I'm Carol. I'm Melazine. Is there anything you need help with? Uh, she looks, it looks like she's missing a hat Get there. Get away from here. I'm calling the guards. She is a guard. Please, calm down. I don't mean to cause any harm. Hmm. Hard to say. Bruh, she said hi. She's like, she said hi and waved at you very cutely. And you're like, mm, wow, you're trying to kill me. Yeah, we should probably stay away from these monsters. How could you be that Haven't way? Haven't you realized? Strange incidents have been increasing ever since they came. She just said hi. Why should we trust this species from who knows where anyway? That's racist. I can't believe Nervilite allowed them into the court of Fontaine just like that. Bruh. Exactly. That so-called Chief Justice even granted them official positions. Not only that, but they're now responsible for investigating cases as well. Yeah, that's good. I swear, there's some hidden agenda at play here. You know, oh my Go God. away! Quit acting innocent! <laughs> I'm not leaving! I won't let you say bad stuff about him! How we dare you! We made the show say Phantom and solved lots and lots of cases. We've never done anything wrong! Well, see, you can't... You, you can't reason with racist people, you know? <laughs> Solving cases? With Nervilet in cahoots with you. You could have fabricated it all, and no one would know. Why would you assume so that? tell me, how can you guarantee that you Melazines aren't involved in anything that occurred recently? Uh, they can guarantee it because they are themselves and they say so, I guess. I don't know. Didn't I tell you before? Don't go advertising if you're not a good talker. Votre? Oh, look, is that guy. Aside from spreading unjustified rumors, if you continue insulting members of the Mare Chaussee Phantom, the Special Security and Surveillance Patrol has every right to subject you to interrogation. Yeah! There have indeed <laughs> been an increase in cases recently, perhaps due to the shifting currents of conspiracy. Yeah! I understand your concern. However, there's been no evidence pointing towards Melazine's being involved. But you're on their payroll, Vatrine. You can't make any point. Even the captain of the security patrol is on their side. Nervilet's newly reformed police force is already corrupt to the core. Okay, How whatever. Two completely different species possibly coexist. Uh, well, you're definitely not helping with that. I can tell you that much. You heard that? Yeah. I don't understand. Why won't anyone believe us? Well, see, you can't reason with idiots. <laughs> have been rumors saying that you were born from calamity eh, well it's not wrong and that you inherently bring danger to those around you she doesn't bring danger they uh, she doesn't bring danger but i mean technically they were made by that dragon which was calamity so i guess they're not too far off but also they're stupid there so. are countless negative rumors about you floating around in fontaine it's near impossible for you to become a part of this society Best if you give up before it's too Bro, late. Bro, shut up. If you give up, you'll never be a part of society. <clears throat> Sir Nervalette said that we needed to put both time and effort in. I don't know how long it'll take, 
but I can at least try making my best effort. I yeah, chump. To try a little harder. He's like, how about you give up? Thank you nah. For me out <sighs> okay, I won't be taking any more of your time. I painted a lot of flyers last night, so I have to stay and hand them out to everyone. Painted? Oh, they'll probably like diss it, give burn it. You're, you're not gonna take them away, right? No, yeah, he's just gonna throw on the fountain. I mean, out together. The faster we get this done, the sooner we can head back. Where? Where are you heading back to? The palace. <laughs> uh, I know that's not how you pronounce it. Mm, I'm glad they're playing this depressing music. <clears throat> okay, now we have all three of them. First, it was just. Uh, yeah, whatever. I don't. I, I don't even know what I'm trying to say. For three, well, he, he he gets blue text. Look at him, special uh, guy. What's this? Medals of peace, awarded to you and Votram. Oh, I like the way that looks. I want one of those. Thank you for your continued dedication. <laughs> I'm sorry for, for that disgusting years. laugh. You've taken one small step forward. Five years. Melusines gain the trust of humans. Oh, let's skip five years. I think I'll pass. Hey, don't say that. We wouldn't have made it this far without you. Yeah, also metals are cool. It won't be for long cool before people. Melazines begin living peacefully with the humans. Just the thought of it makes me happy. Oh yeah, it makes you so happy. Don't keep your hopes up. We've barely scratched the surface. There's still a long way to go before that dream of yours comes true. Well, they are immortal, so <laughs> you blockhead! Don't ruin the mood. Yeah, loser. Botran brings up a good point. <laughs> the trust humans have placed in you is still very fragile. Any small incident could undermine the hard work you've put in. Yeah, so you better not mess up anything. No pressure, by the way. Please be on your guard for the next few days. Only a few days? How about the next few years? Yes, sir. Okay, got it. Yeah. It'd be cute if she did, like, a cute little salute. They should add that animation to Everly Melzine. They should do the salute or whatever, the thing that the gods do. Oh, what are, what are the fancy medal of peace? <laughs> Peace isn't going to give us back what's rightfully ours. What's rightfully yours, Tharbert? Are you sure we should do this? We're no match for Nervalet, even with all our powers combined. What if... Oh, wow. Well, okay, well, this is helping. Nah, not gonna happen. Not gonna as happen. As long as he remains in his position, there's no chance he'd take us out personally. Bro, I've heard this guy's voice before, but I could not tell you what his name was. There are rules even he must comply with in the political sphere. Unless he wants to become an enemy of Fontaine. Shut up, so quit worrying you have a stupid name, you know what? <laughs> I've already planned out the murder. Once we lay the blame on the Melazines as the person who brought them to the court of Fontaine, Nervy Lett will be left with no excuse. Okay, so he I murdered guess you're someone. you're right. Ugh. If he just left things the way they were, it never would have come to this. It didn't have to, it but does. forced our hand. Time to teach him a lesson. They're, they're, they're still not... Of, you still don't have to kill someone. Just a thought, you know. I don't think I I don't think there's a lot of a, a lot of opportunities where you have to murder someone, <laughs> you know. But you know that's just me. What do I know? Well, there was obviously some Turn mouse. Be Bert, more like stupid Bert. <laughs> that's why I have to say. Melazines can't be trusted. That goes for Nervalette too. See, I, I knew it, guys. These freaking lines that they use in the 4.1 uh, trailer, whatever. The these lines, I thought I thought it'd be part of the archive quest, but it's it's a flashback from 400 years ago. That's stupid, but also this section is pretty cool. So you know, whatever. Clotaire. Coexistence? What a joke! Get out of the court of Fontaine and don't ever come back. Oh well, that's messed up. Sure. That that is just not that's just totally unfair. Ragstiknag. <laughs> the results of the investigation are in, Captain Voltron. Go on. There is no direct evidence, but reasonable inference indicates that the ones controlling the situation are supporters of the old regime whose interests have been undermined by the reform. <gasps> How could you know that? They tricked Miss Carol into going to the crime scene and pressed charges against her. How nice. After that, 
They incited panic among the people in order to make Monsieur Nervillet confess to his mistakes and yield up power. The guards hmm. were stopped by the enraged mob and couldn't intervene in time. Miss Carol chose to sacrifice herself to pacify the situation. Oh, well, that I would not use the word sacrifice because that makes it sound like it was okay. And she called me a blockhead. Yeah, what a, a little loser. investigation would have cleared things up. Why didn't she wait until we'd established the truth? She didn't have to prove her innocence like that. True that. The situation had rapidly escalated to a physical altercation between infuriated citizens and the guards. Okay, but... Miss Carol might have thought there was no better plan. Yeah. That is indeed something she'd do. Oh, that Captain sucks. Voltra, should I present these results to Monsieur Nervillet right away? Yeah. There's no need. Notify the guards to restrict public access to all information. Restrict access to... Wait, are you planning to... Two. There's something I've never told Carol. I had a little sister named Delaria who passed away when I was very young. How young? I mean, you look pretty young here. She's just like I... Carol in every possible way. Innocent, kind, always believing the best of people. People like her are the most vulnerable to deception and betrayal. Yep, true that. The moment I met Carol, I knew that she'd be easily manipulated by others. I kept a cold demeanor and tried lecturing her into giving up. How could you? But also, I mean, like I guess... she was unfazed by that. Yes. In fact, some of her spirit must have rubbed off on me instead. <gasps> because okay. I, too, began working towards that pie-in-the-sky dream of hers. Well, because she deserved it. I should have known. Those cowards don't have the guts to confront New Villette. They even avoided causing trouble for me. They were after Carol all along. Uh, honestly, I mean, is, are you really thinking people are still want the old stuff back from 400 years ago? All these humans are dead now. Can you understand how I feel? Right now, there's only one thought on my mind. Only through bloodshed can their debt be repaid. I understand, bloodshed. but I'm certain Monsieur Nervalette wouldn't accept that as a solution. He's like, too bad. That's exactly why we need to keep this a secret. Give me the list of suspects. What happens after this has nothing to do with any of them. Well, is he going to go kill a bunch of people? I will take responsibility for everything. Okay. Do all... How nice of him. <laughs> Explore the nearby... Air. Well, I can only walk forward, but I guess I'm going into here. Oh, to see what happened. You know, I'm going to go into Opera House, and then we're going to see what happened with the case. See, this is cool. Uh, this is cool. Nah. That's all I got to say about it. Did you know? They're hearing a major case today, and the criminal is Captain Vautrin of the Special Security and Surveillance Patrol. Oh, he's going to say the line. Apparently, he resorted to personal measures to seek revenge for Carol and settled the score with the group that framed his friend. <sighs> hey. Why aren't you saying anything? Why are you even talking to this guy? Who is this guy? Why do I thinking... care? I don't care. We should try our best to bail him out when the trial commences. Bail him out? Why? Shh, keep it down. Because he's nice. Haven't you realized? But also, he... both Votran and Carol are Nervilet's most trusted subordinates. After everything that happened to Carol, Nervilet's guarantee to do everything he can to keep Votran around. No, hey, if he's found to do something illegal, he has to go. Besides. Now that the old regime has been uprooted, Nervilet's status is secure as can be. As long as we redirect public opinion, Nervilet will be able to give Votran a reprieve. The benefits are endless. Hmm. A raunchous, a ra a raunchous commotion. Votran sought vengeance for his friend for a valid cause. This represents the justice he upholds. Okay, Please but like, what did he do? It. If the same thing had happened to you, wouldn't you feel the same way he did? Yeah, that's right. Yeah, says Proom. This whole thing started because of those despicable cowards who levied false accusations against Carol. How could Votran be declared guilty for seeking revenge? Monsieur Nouvellet. Mr. Votran is innocent. He's of? innocent. Order. Hey, they're saying they're saying he's innocent. I acknowledge your arguments. Votran, 
Your revenge could be seen as a form of justice. But sometimes you go too far. That's what he's gonna say. I understand your decision. Which is why I cannot help but feel regret and even grief about the judgment I must now impose. <gasps> Personal justice does not equate to justice as defined by the law. Uh, yeah, I mean, he's to got a point. your plan for revenge, you abused your authority and conducted informal executions. Your actions have thus violated the law. Therefore, Rip. you will be declared guilty. Say the line, Valtrine. That can't or whoever be. says it. Monsieur Nervillette, please give this a little more thought. He has done so much for Fontaine. Yeah, that's true, but also, I mean, he broke the law. You Both break trying. the law, you go to jail. That's how I it works. Think. Is there anything else you want to say? Nervillette, what have I done to deserve this? I've closely followed every one of your orders. No. Can't you see? Everyone in this room believes that I'm innocent. Why can't you just let me off? Because his position. Is this what justice means to you? Answer me, Nubilet! Yes. Order. I had Since the canes there have useful been no for that. Further objections, <laughs> the oratrice will now deliver the final verdict regarding the charges against Mr. Yep, Beltran. there have been no further objections whatsoever. According to the judgment of the Oratrice Mechanique Denalise Cardinal. Hey, he said it. Mr. Vautran will be declared guilty. Saw so, man, that's just how it works. Just don't break the law. Why are you head bombing? Okay, okay. That's just because her brain hurts. Um Why, Monsieur Nuvillette? This all happened because of Carol's naive ideas. Yeah. How can different species peacefully coexist anyway? Well, that guy's stupid. Well, hey, you're making it a problem. That is, uh, it's all on you, buddy. Hey, that's me, Bro, I saw so many important things. Also, it's so bright. What's Ow. Wrong? Are you <laughs> feeling well? What was that? Apologies. It seems like my memories got the better of me. I tried my best to suppress the power of Hydro within myself, but seems like it still caused the emotions within the fountain of Lucine to boil over. It doesn't look that hot to me. Due to my negligence. Cause, cause boil? <laughs> the overflow of emotions and memories must have affected you as well. Are you alright? It's fine. Everything affects me. I'm the main character. I have to see everything that no one else sees. I'm fine. Period. Wow. The Hydro Dragon is more powerful than Paimon thought. Bro, he's, he's like one of the most powerful beings in the entire world. Anyway. Anyways, the last time we came here, the Traveler only heard voices from the Fountain of Lucene. No emotions boiling over or anything. It's fine. It is as you said. I got the this inside look. This might be because Scoop. I am different. It is not only the Fountain. I can sense emotions from all waters in Fontaine. Rivers, lakes, and even the rain. That you mostly cause. That sounds awesome. Wow. Wow, Lamine's face. She's so surprised. But I rarely ever do Whoa. anything like this. Emotions carried by water are always chaotic and disconnected. And you are water. As an outsider, having my mind occupied with irrelevant memories isn't exactly a pleasant experience. Oh, well, the memories I saw were related to you, Which buddy. Ones? From when you brought Carol to the Court of Fontaine to when you declared Vatrin guilty. <laughs> That's fine. I saw a good portion there. I prefer there. not to speak of those memories. That does not mean I am deliberately hiding them. It was a coincidence, but... Perhaps it is a good thing that you saw everything in that form. Yeah, you don't gotta say nothing. I know. You should now the, understand the why I believe there to be a conspiracy behind all this. These two cases are much too similar. I felt like I needed to do something. Now, I mean, there is a slight difference: is that they're not trying to frame the Melazon; they're saying they're going to catch her. Uh, Paimon's starting to lose track of what you're saying. It's not that Maybe important. Paimon Oh, why don't you get visual sight into everything? How about then that? Then we'll start talking. The point. While I was investigating the fountain, I discovered something strange. Farina is crying for some reason. No. I did not sense too much hatred towards me within its accumulated emotions. Maybe it's just towards her. However, I did find some resentment directed towards Kiara. If I remember correctly, it seemed to be related to a smuggling case. Oh, hey, why don't, why don't those people just not break the law? I don't know what nice suggestion this to happen, for but it seems like there won't be a shortcut to finding the organization that may be pulling the strings here. <gasps> oh, organization? Did we read about that in 
one of the documents? Yes, we did, Paimon. You've read about it. In that case, the resentment should have come from that incident. Stop. What are you doing here? What are you doing here? I was just about to look for you at the Palais Mermonia. I don't know what you're doing here, Novia, but it's great to see you. And man, oh my gosh, she is looking good. <clears throat> is she... Uh, um, yeah, let's continue. Yeah, nice to see you again. Is there something we can help with? <laughs> I don't know why you're here, but what's up? I've heard some things, but I'm not purposely asking around or anything. Don't but, worry. When am I rolling for Navia? Is it three point? Is it three? Uh, four point three? <laughs> uh, please. Uh, <clears throat> are abroad that someone's scheming against Melusines, and that you're investigating the case. Don't know why you heard that, but yes, that is what's going so on. I told the Spina di Rosula to keep an eye out for leads. We've had unfamiliar faces showing themselves at the Fleur Sandra lately. Mm-hmm, the Fleur Sandra. Maybe you'll find the suspects among them. Among us? Thank you. Where did you hear about all this? Charlotte? The okay. Chief Justice out on investigation, accompanied by the Traveler from afar. No matter how you conceal your whereabouts, there will be countless eyes watching you. Just as Child said in Leoway, the walls have ears or something like that. You talk to Kiara... But didn't ask her to keep things secret. Uh oh. People mm -mm. curious to know asked around for information. Then it was only a matter of time before word of the threatening letter spread all across Fontaine. Hey, that's what Charlotte said would happen. So that's what Charlotte meant. Hey, it wasn't Indeed. a threat. It was just a, you I did know, not what happens. That this could be kept hidden for too long. But the rumors still spread faster than I imagined. Oh, uh, you know, <clears throat> people just love rumors. Hmm. You know, it could be because. Attract more attention than you think. It's what he's wearing, isn't it? Anyway, any progress with <laughs> nah, the investigation? Nah, it's his position. The suspects who threatened Kiara might have to do with a certain smuggling case, but it is still uncertain if there is, in fact, another party behind all this. We are planning to return to the Palais Mormonia to revisit some details and Woo! identify the senders of that threatening letter. <sighs> I love being all a detective. Right. And I'll round up the Spina di Rosula and follow up on their progress. All Wait right. my word. Ta-ta. She says ta-ta. Uh, Cute. Do you think there'll be any problems now that the word is out? Nah. I already considered that possibility, and I do not think that there will be any. I mean, also, Kalen was fact, with her, so... Once the word gets out, no one would dare to harm Kiara in broad daylight. What is more important mm -hmm. is how the case is perceived by the public. 400 years ago, they chose to side with the old regime and direct their resentment towards the Melusines. But this time... I hope the same won't happen again. Hopefully not. It's been 400 years. Let us years. back to the Palais. Most people don't know what the old ways was like anyways, unless they were told specifically. Or is it going to teleport me there? Paimon's going to look at me? Okay, what do you want? Why? Strange. What are these people doing out on the street so late at night? I don't know. Did something happen? Let's take a look around. There's been a murder! Okay, well, now Paimon's forcing us to talk to random NPCs. How dare you? Someone's plotting against a melazine. This is 100% the truth. Even the chief justice is investigating in person. Oh my gosh, that is a fancy hat you got there. What? That's it. Who's been threatening melazines? Show yourself. Ah, they care about the melazines now. That's awesome. Our enemies are lurking in the shadows and won't easily reveal themselves. But no amount of hiding will keep us from finding them. That's exactly what I wanted to say. The guards have already begun to take action. We can't just stand by and watch. Let's go. They're on the Melzine sides because they deserve. Think about the Melzines did nothing wrong them. ever. Now that they're in danger, how can we just sit back and do nothing? That's what I'm talking about, Corneli. Everyone, please stay alert to your surroundings from now on. If you see any suspicious persons, report them to the guards immediately. But these two guys could be in on it. Maybe they're the ones who sent the threatening letter. Maybe they are in with the smugglers you never know i mean hey you might uh, oh there it's actually it says report of the steam bird never mind they're probably fine so many guards <laughs> good it feels like you've been following me this whole time did something happen we were informed that <clears throat> no nope. we just finished our shifts and happened to be strolling by <laughs> so we're going to follow you in our uniforms have you had dinner yet why don't we check out the new items at the dessert shop together? Dodge you. This isn't a good time to be out and about. Um, you sure about that, Delphine? Come on, don't act tough. I bet you're hungry too. I'm hungry. I can tell you that. I'm starving. <sighs> All right, let's I'm go buy a cake or something. Or something. You shouldn't ever skip meals, especially if you have another shift scheduled for later. 
don't know what you're talking about, but it's adorable. <laughs> okay, we're Birdman just looking. Interview. Let's keep an eye on the situation. <laughs> Cooper. This is the perfect chance to get promoted. We gotta make sure we give it all we've got. <laughs> oh, he heard that. I'm sorry, Cooper. Seriously. Were you planning to shirk your duties if Nervilet wasn't involved? <laughs> Relax, I was just playing. We've worked together for years now. If something happened to them, I'd be haunted by regret for the rest of my life. Yeah, let's That's go. More like it. We should stand guard until the criminal has been caught. Come and fight me instead, you cowards! <laughs> Have you heard? Even the special patrol came to help. Ah, uh, okay, Shh, something's happening. Look. Isn't that Nervilet? Yeah, we are. Don't worry. It's fine. Uh, looks like there's nothing to worry about. Everyone's on the Melzine side mm. here. This is truly wonderful. That's what I'm saying. Could make someone cry. So, <laughs> want to go over and say hi? No, I should stay where I am. My appearance could give rise to unnecessary commotion. That, well, they already noticed you, Let buddy. Let's stick to our plan and return to the Palais Mamonia. The faster we uncover the truth, the better. Well, see, now, this is great, guys. 400 years of progress. Those people from 400 years ago, they must feel like a bunch of idiots right now. Freaking losers. I love standing here, by the way. I don't know. It's just kind of funny. I, I heard, don't think I didn't hear that crying. I heard it. It's still there. It makes me sad every time I hear it because I'm a Farina simp. I mean, what? Uh, uh, <laughs> I'm sorry, Kokomi. You'll be replaced soon enough. By the way, speaking of Kokomi, guys. Ah, look at that. Ha, ah, look at that. Ha, ah, triple ten. That's funny. Anyway. I've noticed a lot of people don't like triple ten their characters, but all four of the characters on my team right now are triple crowned uh, for me. And then I have, like, a few extras that are triple crowned. Uh, my Hu Tao is... Oh, I need to heal for, like, two HP. Nahida? 480... Anyways, I, I was gonna say something, but you know, eh, whatever. Look for suspicious documents. Well, supposedly, uh, I mean, I hope we find one with smuggling. <laughs> the smuggling case. We didn't read everything. We kind of read a synopsis of it. The smuggling case was solved by the joint forces of the guards of the Marechaussee Phantom. This is the one. Yeah, look at the cute little picture in the corner. The list of involved suspects should be. Ah. Found it. Joe, mom. What does it uh, stop. The principal offenders, Domenico, Inica, Yuna, and others have been caught. They have been sent to the fortress of Meropede following trial. Mm, do you need me to eat another cake for you, buddy? Those with close connections or mutual interests with the offenders, but who did not participate in the case, will not stand trial. Rip. <sighs> Among them, surveillance of Essan has ceased on account of his good behavior. All other personnel remain on our watch list. I sure seem doesn't isn't using that to his advantage. Is the one who sent that threatening letter to Kiara on the list? How would you know? Yes, there is something suspicious about Essan, to be precise. That's what I'm saying. It seems like he's closely related to the core members of the smuggling case, and he moves around without much restriction. Should we tell Novia about this? Nervalet, someone claiming to be from the Spina du Rasula just checked in with us. And what was he their name? Said, and I quote. <clears throat> We have located the suspect. They're chatting at the cafe. Cafe? Huh? How did Navia find them so quickly? She just, just figured out the suspect's name. She's just like that, okay? Navia's like I that. I too am perplexed. The cafe isn't too far from here. We should head over and take a look. Maybe they'll take that as their plan of attack. They misdirect us. Because we believe everything they say. Me up with Navia? Nah, no, we're just gonna teleport there. What's good? Ever surging memories. <laughs> These memories, they sure are ever surging, surging, they said. And my words be ever not said correctly. <laughs> I, <laughs> I couldn't think of anything. Okay. Well, you know, you, I trust Navia. But Navia didn't come in herself. Eh, we'll see. Uh, oh. That's why she sent someone else. You know what? That makes sense. I made coffee with this guy this morning. By the way, I uh, I gotta say it. I know everyone else has said it, but why would they make a coffee making daily and they don't reuse? And then they didn't reuse the mechanics they made for. Wait a second, I had it. It used to be my favorite one. I I had it on constantly. 
Where is it? This one. They literally had a whole event of this. And well, I still love this one so much. It's so good. <laughs> Why don't they use the mechanics they made for this? Like, just pull it out of the archives and put it in the daily. It would make that daily so much better. I'd actually like doing it. Instead, I just stand there and click F twice. Anyways, Navia, let's see what's going on. They got some big cups. They're, they're just there. Can you shut up? Oh, oh, never. So look at her. She gestured Whoa. so kindly. Check out all these people. Uh, hey there. Are you Navia's friends too? Why? She just talks to anyone. These are the people who have had recent dealings at the Mara Chose Phantom. They're usually hidden in the flu of Zandra, but I sent for someone to invite them over. Oh, invite okay. Invite them over. Exactly. Now, I heard there's great coffee here. And so I asked them if they'd like to come and have some. Hmm, yeah, okay. Yeah, it's our pleasure to be guests of the Spina di Rosula. And also, <laughs> Navrelat, who, who decided to come. <laughs> I've wanted to have a meetup like this for ages. I'm so glad we're all excited to be here. Uh, something feels off. I think it's supposed to. But Yes. Oh, that's me. This guy. Eh. Hmm. Oh, that slight turn of her head. Your yes. Yes. Yes, Monsieur Nervilet. Did you write that threatening letter to Kiara? Why would he say if he did? Ah, uh, <clears throat> <laughs> oh, bro, Navia is so attractive. Uh, shut up. I did, but I, I was just following orders. From who? I mean, maybe if you tell us. Orders you know. from whom? Thank you. Dominico. He was my boss. I couldn't disobey his orders. Dominico. I swear I saw the guy's name Dominico. earlier. Dominico. Where is he now? In the fortress of Meropede. And you got information out, bro. Worsley, we're going to have to have a talk. <laughs> well, uh, I'm afraid even the Spina would have trouble looking into that place. Looks like you'll have to make the trip yourselves. This was as much as I could do. Well, that's helpful. You've done more than enough. I'm extremely grateful for your So help. we gotta give him the death sentence, right, Norvalet? Yeah, please. That'd be cool. No. Leave the formalities for later. You should find Dominico first. If he right. is the one setting up the conspiracy, it'd be best if he's exposed as soon as possible. Let's go right, do it. Then. Let's head to the fortress right now. Hey, now we can go there freely, but apparently when we're getting in... Oh... Continuing the current quest, but he's caused part of to become occupied. Okay. Continue this quest. You can choose to continue this quest from the quest menu. Continue. Oh, wait. I'm okay. Which one is no purpose whatsoever? Um. Did, is that the right one? Is that? Did I choose the right one? Let me see. Okay, I chose the right one. That's good. I wasn't sure from the wording. The wording was a little bit odd. Uh, well, home sweet home, though. Fortress of Meripede. Gotta love it here. I'm still technically in prison in the Archon Quest. Uh, obviously, we're going to be leaving near the beginning of Act 5. Because we put in our time. Dominico. I feel like we need to have a little chat. Oh, it's worth... Uh, oh, okay. Oh, Worsley is here. Well, okay. Then he does have something to say. Oh, it's Monsieur Nervalet. I heard that. I heard that mom get... I, I mean, she didn't say anything bad. She's just pointing out the obvious, just like any good reactor would. <laughs> Welcome to the fortress like of me. Meripede, no. dear esteemed guests. Okay, you don't have to be so formal. We're back! Oh, and a greeting from none other than the Duke himself. Guess we made a name for ourselves at this place. <laughs> yeah, this you can say that. anything new. I figured you had important matters to discuss when the two of you, not to mention the Chief Justice, showed up. Mm -hmm. Let's assume we've gone through the pleasantries and cut right to the chase. Thank you. Tell Worsley about the threat letter Kiara received. Hmm. What's up with that? I do remember a thing or two about Dominico. He once attempted to round up the other inmates and instigate a protest. Hmm. What does this guy think he is? Probably not. He's making it sound like it was a past affair. He once attempted to, I said. Yeah, exactly. that it was over before it even started. And now he's threatening Melazines, is he? 
How? To be honest, Dominico Excuse doesn't me. seem like much of a conspirator. The fact that the three of you bothered to personally investigate raises a flag. Is there something else going on behind the scenes here? Yep, he's in with someone else. <sighs> he's got the same concerns we do. I am concerned about this incident because something similar has occurred in the past. I wish to meet Dominico in person and have my <laughs> questions answered. Oh, imagine being met by this guy personally in your jail cell. That'd be that would be a treat. That's an easy one. Let me think. I think he's at Nunya. <gasps> Did I hear someone say Melizzy? What happened? Siege Wayne, get out! No, no, I, I'm kidding. Why am I? Wow, why? I'm sorry, Siege Wayne. You did nothing wrong. Also, why is everyone scared of her? Okay, I mean, she she may be a little uneasy during the Archon quest, but she hasn't done anything. I'd say scary. Belzine named Kiara received a threatening letter. Yeah, and we're investigating. The person who threatened her seems to be imprisoned here. I hope when she becomes a playable character, Siege Wayne, they explain how she is so human. She'll be alright. There's no need to worry. Clarand is protecting her as we speak. No, oh, she's still protecting her. Good, uh, good job, Clarand. That's great. Oh, but if the criminal's still, I is there anything you can do about this? Now we're gonna do something about ah, it. Head nurse, do you require me to personally deal with the criminal? Hmm. Rithesley. What? Okay, this is job. It. I'll bring Dominico to you. That's your only demand, correct? Sure. Think of it as more of a humble request. That's a demand. I'm here on my own accord. Do it now. To formally transfer a criminal for trial. I urge you to set aside any concerns. Yeah, he's got free time on his hands. Thanks for the trouble. Consider me in your debt. Whoa. If Paima were you, Your Grace, Paima would take this chance to ask for something really important. Hmm. Well, were I still a criminal, I'd probably ask for a lighter sentence. But I'm sure Monsieur Nervillet would reject that. Bruh, he's still a criminal? I thought he already did his time, and that's why he's allowed to be the Duke. But enough jokes. Oh, uh, enough Dominico jokes. Never mind. Him, you? I take it back. Make yourselves at home. Our dear head nurse has mentioned you quite a few times, so I'm sure she has a lot to say. Hmm. She's just really nice, guys. Please come with me to the infirmary. Oh, oh sorry. Dang it! Oh, no, bro, I hate it when they do that. Bro. If you want me to hear, if you want to make a line super long, then let me be able to hear it, even if I accidentally click off for one second. Bro, this game sucks. What's up with that, huh? I say this game sucks, but I probably have, you know. Honestly, I wish I could know how many hours I have in this game, because I know I have too many. Now think about it, I can leave this place soon. Oh, good job, Mutual Aid. Huh? Network member. Oh, she's looking at me. I do like this thing that they, they're doing where it, they are saying lines when we walk by. Like, that. that's pretty cool. Good for good for uh, Hoyoverse there. Or could we say the, the Genshin team? Well, let me steal this real quick. My God, this place is not safe. We just have dull blades sitting around inside the prison. Please keep them at, like... The entrance, like what? Anyways, we are back here in the infirmary, my favorite place of all time. No, okay. Oh, feigning sickness Please and being rest here. here for a moment. Oh, and would anyone like anything to drink? Water. I'm not that thirsty, but thanks anyway. I'm thirsty, and let me get Thirst some water. Is a warning sign that you're dehydrated, which means you have to drink up even before that. Mm-hmm. I'll bring you some tea. I'm sure you'll have a lot to talk about. So much. I love talking. At least Paimon does. Ah, typical Seedwing. Concerned about everyone's health as always. Yeah, what a loser of a nurse. How dare she be considerate of other people's feelings. Anyway. Uh, why aren't you two saying anything? Mm, the criminals we passed by earlier. Did you noticed them too. The badges they wore on their chests looked quite familiar. Familiar? Uh... Paimon didn't even realize they were wearing them. I didn't see it either. But if Elaborate. Think, though, let's go ask them about it. Should be. Paimon and I will go. You're not exactly a sight for sore eyes around here. It's not a bad idea. I will stay here and wait for news from you. Don't worry. I know. I, I've been here before. I know how to talk to other prisoners. Is he just gonna... He's just gonna look at the books. Okay. Let me go talk to three NPCs. Yippee. They're all like out here though, so 
Gordes, what's up with you? Talk to Anything me. You need? Uh, the badge you're wearing. Oh, this? Are you interested in joining the mutual aid network? Yeah. What's that? We have a very long history, going back as far as 400 years ago. Uh-oh, we found the problem. We have never had many members throughout our history, nor do we have much of a reputation. Good. But everyone treats each other like family. Well, your family sucks. Helping each other is our purpose. At the same time, we seek to maintain just dealings as much as possible. Like what? Sounds like a pretty neat organization. Yeah, he, he's just being extremely vague. You never know. 500, <laughs> 400 years ago, can't trust him. Ourselves. None of us have ever committed serious crimes. And we're not especially powerful either. We're at a natural disadvantage here in the fortress. Okay. But people won't give us a hard time if we stick together. Was it started by Vaudrez's guy or something? Also, this fort uh, this has been used as a prison for over at least 400 years. That's interesting. Interested in joining the mutual aid network? Uh, totally. If you'd like to learn more, here's our flyer. They have flyers? Okay. Help each other. Do all you can to further justice. Do not detest just judgment. The above are the three principles of the mutual aid network. All are welcome to join and membership is free. There are no compulsory group events. The mutual aid network encourages members to do what they are able. Including, but not limited to cleaning, exercising, tutoring, and studying. Hey, that's good. It is hoped that all mutual aid network members will, during their time in the Fortress of Meripede, face up to the crimes they have committed. Encourage each other, support each other, and welcome the future together. Our slogan together. may have evolved over the centuries, but our goal has remained unchanged. Be Here, cool, I guess. This is for you. You're welcome to come and sign up anytime. Both of you to assume I'm still in prison. A rule. Hmm. You two look kind of familiar. Hey, I've been here for 45 days. Badge you're wearing, it's the by symbol the way. Of the mutual aid network designed by our first president. Who was From their what name? I've heard, it's what based was his on name? something called a medal of peace. <laughs> I've never seen one of those medals for myself. Though. Medal of peace. I know who started it. I'm just kidding, by the, the way. The first president of our network was an amazing person. Powerful as he was, he never used his strength against anyone. He encouraged the weaker criminals to stick together and look out for each other. How dare he? All of us have a lot of respect for him. Not me. No. <laughs> okay, I mean, I guess we... have gathered enough information. Let's head back and talk to Nervalette. Hmm. You know what? No. We'll just leave this at this and just never finish it. <laughs> Totes. Well, I just said, what the heck? Totally. I speak English and say the full words. Nice sitting... By the way, stiff-looking man. Well, did you manage to gather any intel? Mm -hmm. the no. The badges belong to an organization called the Mutual Aid Network. Hmm. According to them, the badge's design was inspired by the Medal of Peace. Have you seen any of those before? No, I gave one out. I personally crafted two of them myself. They were awarded to Carol and Vautrin. I wonder which one went to jail 400 years ago. Ooh, ooh. Carol's medal was destroyed in a fire. The only one that remained should belong to Vautrin. Oh, so the network was inspired by... Uh, it was probably started. Monsieur Nervilette, his grace has requested your presence in his office. He's found Dominico. Good. All right. Let us talk to him first and get to the bottom of this situation. All right. Who wants to interrogate him? Who wants to be good cop? Who wants to be bad cop? Go to Worthley's office? Hmm, okay. I guess I can do that. Also, you know who's... Honestly, I don't know why, but Cosmo just fits in this prison. Is that just me? Like, he looks like he belongs here. <laughs> Wait, what do I mean by that? I, don't, I, I think his color scheme is the most fitting. Except, except for the orange, but... I'm just saying that maybe because he wears these weird shorts, I guess, pants. Uh, they're probably shorts. But the other ones are, their colors are like too vibrant, you know? Also, this is just a child. Anyway, I always run around as Raiden Shogun, though. That's just the way I am. Though, once I get Farina, I'm probably only going to be running around as her. And, and you know, you could just change her skin for fun. All right, Dominico. Allow me to introduce this fine gentleman, <laughs> Dominico. I appreciate the pause, Worsley. Why don't you explain everything to him? N Nervilette? Hey, well, hey, just explain it. What do you want? 
what are you gonna do? Kill me? Pfft, nah. Calm down. I merely want to ask you a few questions. And then kill you. <laughs> no, Is it kidding. your idea to send that letter to a melusine? Uh, uh, no. Essain has already confessed, so there really isn't any need to keep hiding. Oh, that idiot. I can't believe I trusted him. I can't believe he did in the first place. You're in prison. What are you going to do? Send someone else to kill him? Let me ask this another way. It was your idea to send that letter, correct? <sighs> yes. Nah. Who is pulling your strings? Me. What? You, you're not trying to frame me for something I haven't done, are you? Hmm. Oh, that was a it's really good angry best if you noise. realize the gravity of your situation. The Chief Justice of Fontaine has been personally investigating your case. Yeah, man, you should take it a little more seriously. your previous attempt to incite unrest at the Fortress of Meripede has something to do with this as well. I... I admit I acted on impulse. I'll tell you the truth. But before that, you must ensure my safety. Of what? I can do that. You see, we're all reasonable people here. No. I only intended to do some small business at first. Someone contacted me about delivering some goods and promised me a generous sum of more in return. Okay. After making a few trips, I was suddenly approached by the Mari Chaussee Phantom. <clears throat> they accused me of smuggling prohibited items, and I was put on trial. But I refused to accept any of that. The ignorant can be rightfully absolved from guilt, right? Well, I suspect that someone got me locked up here so they could get their hands on my goods. Hmm. Maybe. And then you decided to take revenge on the Melazines? Over uh, that? Ignorance is not an excuse, by the way. My initial target was Nervy Lett. Everyone in the forces of Meripede was declared guilty by him, after all. So they must more or less hold a grudge against them, right? If I could get them to strike back... Eh, uh, no. But for some reason, no one wanted to team up with me. Because they don't. That mutual aid network in particular. What did those nobodies even gain from trying to challenge me? Seriously. I don't know. They're just cool, I guess. And I had to redirect my focus onto melazines to salvage things. Why? I that Kiara was the one who confiscated my goods for inspection. So I asked one of the more approachable guards to send a letter, claiming that I meant to contact my family. Wow. But the letter was, in fact, addressed to Essa. I requested that he write a threat letter to Kiara and force it to resign from the Mari Chaussee Phantom. Am I to assume that the claims you've made are your own thoughts? Have you been in contact with any suspicious people recently? <laughs> you're asking that when he's in a prison. Yeah, no! No, bro, you, you're in a prison. Everyone here is suspicious. Is it true that all Especially members if their involved names in the smuggling scandal have been caught? Yes. And that's all I know. Well, they let Essam off the hook. Sijuin, please take him back to the detention center. I'll deal with him later. Detention? Sijuin so, is a Melisant, kind of. You were concerned that there might be a shadowy faction looking to capitalize on the delicate situation with the Melisines to stir up greater chaos? Yes. I experienced yeah. a similar incident in the past, so I had to be prepared for any possibility. Yeah, the past. From a and really long, long time ago. ago was this incident? 400 years ago, he's gonna say. More than 400 years. <sighs> you know, I always relate to my problems from 400 years ago because, you know, I was alive back then. You might be overthinking this. <laughs> time can change a lot of things. Everything's different now. Uh, you could tell from how all the people are trying to protect the cute little Melazines. What do you mean? 400 years ago, you and the Melazines you brought to Fontaine were the outliers in society. But now you're... But in the present cool. day... If someone were to threaten the safety of the Melisines, people wouldn't just sit back and do nothing. We saw that first time. I trust that they would make different choices from before. Yeah, no, they, they were all there. That's right. We saw lots of people standing up for Melisines on our way back to the Palais Mermonia. Monsieur Nivillet, the Melisines are a species you introduced to Fontaine. How the public treats them is also reflective of their attitude towards you. Oh, okay. When people nice. refused to place their trust in Melazines, it was because they were still on the fence about you, their unfamiliar Chief Justice. But now you're really cool. For almost 500 years, you've conducted every trial with impartiality. You made the right judgment each time, regardless of whatever nonsense went on. Like that one guy. People no longer have any reservations about you and even consider you a symbol of the law. Right Very now, accurate. Your every decision will impact all of Fontaine. In other words, you've gradually transformed the whole nation. Good job, man. Everyone gets it now. 
He should be proud. I didn't know I wanted to join forces with Dominico. Tragedies like that won't ever happen again. I am undeserving of such high compliments. From my perspective, I have simply been fulfilling my duties. All your duties have been fixed in the world, buddy. Isn't anything special or worthy of praise. Oh, shut up. I'm simply fulfilling the promises I've made and searching for answers through my judgments. I'm glad you're humble, but sometimes you're a little bit too humble, okay? It is unnecessary to hold me in such high regard. The complexity of human emotions and willpower far exceed those of mine. As a matter of fact, I believe that you are the ones who deserve my respect. Okay. There's no need to be so modest. Thank the you. The current state of affairs says it all. You're no longer that outsider you were before. Even if you wished to investigate something on your own, many would take the initiative to lend you a hand. Yeah, I must I say that you've made a fair point. Yeah, there Thank we go. Thank you for clearing my doubts. Now that the case has been settled, I should get going. Uh, can, can I go with you, please? No, okay. Huh? You're leaving? Of course. And so soon, too. Why not stay for a cup of tea? I do not like tea. Says Thank Nicolette. you for the offer, but I know how this place works all too well. What does that While mean? some are here to redeem themselves, there will inevitably be those who harbor resentment towards me. That is true, but literally none of them can even, like, do any damage to you, bro. Just bring out your Kamehameha. Pfft, spin. You're out of there. The They're less time dead. I spend here, the better. My presence could very well result in an unwanted disturbance. In yeah, that case, I'll have true. to insist. I still have two more things to say. Uh, get out. No, I'm kidding. Please, go ahead. You would not say that. The first is about the guard who helped Dominico send that letter. Ah, I know of what you speak. Yeah, that is something the that happened. was indeed deployed Very from the Palais Memoria's staff. However, as I mentioned earlier, I visited today on personal business. Therefore, I leave that matter in your hands. Oh, uh, yeah. Uh, what's his code for it? Ah. Uh, you got it. I trust well, that you. That makes things a lot easier. You're not going to. Hey now, don't let your imagination run wild. I mean, maybe I should. Those from up there have a tendency to sympathize with others. However, down here, such thoughts will put you at high risk. Mm -hmm. I'll have a chat with the guard and remind him to take precautions in the future. I see no issues with that. Cool. Great. Go off. Just one thing out of the way. Uh, what's the other thing you wanted to say? Uh, no. The other thing was born from my own sense of curiosity. Now, I've heard that you investigated the Mutual Aid Network. Is that right? Yeah, I got a book. Yep. Nevertheless, thought their badges looked familiar. I noticed the small gang Colors as well are different. when I first took over the Fortress of Meripeat. They were not great in number, but every member always made sure to stand up for what was right. I've looked awesome. into their founder, Vautrin, who once stood trial and was sentenced to imprisonment in the fortress. Yeah, wow. Whoa, guys, he found it? No way. Anyway. According to existing documentation, Vautrin remained disciplined throughout his imprisonment. He had never once engaged in physical or verbal aggression. Mm, well, how nice in other him. words, how he presented himself in prison was very different from his behavior in court. What? Uh, doesn't he hate Novalet? During his trial, I could sense that his feelings were complicated. He appeared to be full of resentment, and I believe he had every right to feel that way. Hmm. Perhaps he had been putting on an act. Maybe. An act? Nervillette and Vautrin had a close <laughs> we relationship are in with Fontaine. superior and subordinate. Vautrin must have known that the Chief Justice would make an impartial judgment. Thus, oh, he's do his the more thing. resentment he displayed, the clearer it would be to those present that you were upholding justice. We gotta show him what's up. And to those who had been sitting on the fence, Vautrin's act was a very meaningful one. <sighs> uh, so he used himself as a piece on the chessboard. That's all for me. Does anyone else have anything to say? Now's your chance. Uh, nah. I don't have anything to say. Apart from expressing my gratitude, that is. Well then, let us head back. No need to see us off. Okay. That's enough lines for you, wor Worsley. We'll see you for your character story. The Cerberus chapter is Please, literally what it's called. Take care. Please do not only talk about tea. Thank you. I don't like tea. I'm a, a tea hater. Is there a synonym for a hater that's also with a, uh, with, that it all rhymes with T? A T, uh, pfft, nah, I'm not That gonna trial is something I rarely bring up in conversation, but... Hey, you know what? We're cool. I have always felt deep regret for what happened to both Carol and Vautrin. The words mm -hmm. he spoke in court often replay in my mind, as if 
urging me on to do something. Is this what justice means to you, Novelette? Well, Bradley said he never resented you, right? Isn't that a good thing? I believe I now understand what he wanted to tell me. Well, I have to walk like this to... I feel conflicted about those words. How should I describe it? <laughs> okay. Yeah, yeah, keep on going. Yeah, yeah, I'm listening. Relief, Don't worry. Fear and regret. But this blend of emotions has led me to finally understand some things. Like what? I would like to hear your thoughts, too. What do you think of me? I think you're really cool. Paimon agrees with everything Risley says. Yeah. As Chief Justice, every single one of your trials makes an impact on Von King. What do you think, Traveler? Uh, I think. Hey, any comments? No. What I really think is... Whoa, she can speak. Oh, my gosh, guys. Oh. <laughs> uh, okay, good job, Sarah. You got that paycheck. Every trial you've ever judged has left its impression on you. And that's what makes you who you are today. Bro, they need to voice more lines. They, they, they need to give the traveler more lines so uh, it doesn't sound weird. So Hydro Dragon Sovereign Neverlet still thinks of himself as an outsider due to his identity. But so much time has passed since then. Perhaps the lines between him and humans can have long since blurred. That is indeed a reasonable assumption. As I said, I find it difficult to express my emotions because I cannot fully understand myself. Oh, hey, at least we know when you're sad. But I trust your judgment. Since some time ago, I have begun to notice the changes that have occurred upon my person. You, you're cool? These changes were not due to any specific occurrence, but emerged as a result of time itself. He's eroding! No, okay, it's not like that. I will try to contemplate this further. Thank you both. Yeah, no problem, bro. I got you. Cutscene? Huh? Oh no, it's, it's waning. Raining. Oh no, Paimon forgot to bring an umbrella. Come on, let's hurry before it rains harder. Alright, Narva, let's chillin'. What was that? Is that supposed to, was that one drop? Oh, okay. Uh, it's raining again. These I've losers. Of this weather. Uh, there go my travel plans. Bruh, rain is the best weather. These people Did can the shut up. Quick, put away Never let knows what's up. He just walks through it like a Chad. Uh, when is this rain going to stop? Hey, bro, someone, someone, like, I, I remember seeing, like, a little uh, cute Twitter comic about that, where, but the rain actually stopped when the kid They're said planning that. to reanimate the monster. We have to report this to the Chief Justice. Camera. The Fortress of Meripede. It's a good place for me. Okay, and also siege wing. Uh, I wasn't. I don't know exactly what's going on. He owes me so many answers. Well, oh. hmm. you could say he's the real symbol of oh. Fontaine's justice. There's Arlequino. Watch him closely. He could be trouble. I mean, he could be. Uh, does, did he already know about that? How can two completely different species possibly coexist? Okay, racist lady He's from 400 years ago. Scenes. Show yourself. Uh, well, it showed the difference. That's cool. So, guys, what you have to do is don't. You don't have to play the character you story. You can just see this cutscene at the end. From the delightful to the depressing, and one day when you have dwelt among humanity long enough. You will be placed to bring judgment over all as a spokesperson for Fontaine's past. Hey, he's there. Good morning, Monsieur Nouvellet. The rainy season's almost over. <laughs> the skies are supposed to clear in a few days. I hope you find I make time it that to way, enjoy he says. the sunny days ahead. <laughs> I mean, this is a great cutscene. Oh, hey, look, there it goes.
I guess he's just reminiscing. <laughs> Why are you waving at him? Uh, he just stood there. Oh, he smiled. He has emotions. What? No way. Also, ah, I like the, how they did the rain effect there with the puddles there. Never seen the... See, they don't do that very often. Oh, bro. Look. The goaded Fontaine cast. Is the matter resolved? Bro, we got... We got Navia. We got Charlotte. We got Clorinde. We got Nervalette. Uh, I'm just showing that I remember the names, really. Yep. We found the person who sent that threatening letter. Risley said he'd keep a close eye on him, so the Melafines should be safe now. Yep. Oh, I mean, wonderful. Sh they were safe after it went all over the entire of the entirety of Fontaine. Sorry for dragging you all into this. Or, sorry, the Court of Fontaine. That's what they call it. There's no need to apologize. Yeah, you didn't drag us in. We got involved of our own accord. No, Charlotte's just sitting here, like, act like she did something. Uh, by the way, where's Kiara? At the Palais Mermonia. More than 50 people offered to protect her. Duh. Some even hid within the bushes to look out for danger. <laughs> I was worried that That's the access awesome. of protection would make her feel uneasy. So I asked her to stay inside the Palais. It's very safe in there. Yeah, that's what they all say. What a relief. Well, now it looks like the dust has finally settled. Yeah, so who wants to get to questioned? this joyous occasion, Monsieur Nouvellet. Would you be interested in an exclusive interview? No. That's not how you celebrate. Hey, that's how she celebrates. That's the way she I do it. I will consider it. Consider it? <gasps> Bro, he didn't say no. <gasps> really? No way. Of course. My schedule is full for the following weeks, but I should be available next month. How do you know that? Huh? Come up with questions during the intervening days, and I will answer them to the best of my ability. Oh, look at that. <laughs> Charlotte, you, you got to do your job? Yes. <laughs> Sound like she was about to start beatboxing. Now, if you'll excuse me, Not as bad as I did, head back though. to the Palais and issue a communique to publicize our investigation results. Yes. I hope it will assuage the concerns of all. Oh, this shows how this just shows how good Fontaine is. Just take this picture. Look at that picture. Just all the Fontaine characters looking like that. Uh, now we have to talk to everyone. Charlotte? Oh, an exclusive interview. Am I dreaming? What should I ask him? Probably a question. Don't let anything hold you back. Make the most of this opportunity and ask away. Go crazy. He'll decline any question he can't answer anyway. So you might as well give all of them a shot. <laughs> Just write literally every single question. That's that's awesome. Okay. Back to the palace of the police of the thing yep we know they said it so many times but i forget the way they say it like every single time police mem yeah i hit g on accident <laughs> so yeah no this is great <sighs> a, a bunch of people want to protect the malzines because they're now sane that's good to know that uh everyone doesn't suck now that's that's awesome is this Sadine? That's Kiara. Oh, she's sweeping. <laughs> she's a little eepy. Do they all sleep standing up, though? Kiara? I guess some of them sleep underwater, so I can't really say anything, can I? <sighs> Monsieur Nouvellet? I'm sorry. I accidentally fell asleep. You are fired. It's quite all right. I'm here to tell you that we have caught the sender of that threatening letter. You're safe now. Yay! Thank you, monsieur. You're the best. And thank you too, traveler and big sis Paimon. Everyone's been so nice to me, so I've always felt really safe. Aww. Do you remember Domenico? He was the sender of that letter. That guy. Let me think. Uh, I can't remember. My memory isn't that good, so I easily forget things. Well, uh, way, that was him. I saw Carol in my dreams just now. Hmm. Where's she gone, by the way? I haven't seen her in a long time. She's that forgettable? Okay. Uh, oh, nice. In my dream, she looked really happy. She held my hand and said, Kiara, our dreams have finally come true. That's awesome. I can't remember what our dreams were anymore. And I don't know why. 
but I felt really happy to. I, there's no way you're that forgettable. I can sense your joy. In your head. It is indeed a delightful moment. <laughs> Monsieur Nervillette, are you happy too? Yeah. Oh, I almost sure. forgot. Am I allowed to go out now? Yes. I promised to model for a -Love. Of course. Off you go. Though, I mean, she, she's not the best since she has the tail on the back. But other than that, the, yes. See you next time, she... Mr. Traveler and Big Sis Paimon. Yeah, yeah just hmm. keep on calling her that, huh? See you okay. next time. Then she goes running off. <gasps> I mean, skipping. They all skip because it's cute. The remains of past of the past day. Well... Good thing those problems were from 400 years ago, and it's not a problem anymore. What is this? Obtain the reply note. A wave for personal reasons. We'll be back in a day. Farina's reply. Personal reasons? Oh me, oh my. Has our Chief Justice finally come to his senses? If I told you once, I've told you a thousand times. You should follow my example and go out more often. <laughs> you can know your people better. You know, if something unfortunate happens, you'll still run into lots of unique characters along the way. <laughs> what do you think? The human world isn't too bad now, is it? That's cute. Farina, you're you're the best. She's just the best character. I'm sorry, guys. She just is. She told she told the the water uh, the dragon sovereign to touch some grass, and that's what I'm talking about. Yeah, that was good. That one was good. I, I don't know. What happened in the Linny one? I'm not saying the Linny one was bad, but comparatively, it wasn't that good because, like I said, they dragged it out at the end and added an unnecessary extra twist for no reason on Linny's. But I will be right back.
Ah, uh, you know, guys, I think after that great character story quest, we gotta, we gotta go to Mondstadt. Yep, <clears throat> that's what we're doing. We're going to Mondstadt. <laughs> because there's a vent, Mysterious Fish, a booming adventure. Let's go. Because for some reason, we're like, oh, yeah, yeah, the, that, that jail stuff was crazy. How about we go over and <clears throat> go to Mondstadt? Let's go across the entire universe. Okay, it's not that far. Now, that one time we just randomly went to Inazuma, then, yeah, honestly, I, I find it kind of funny. Like, how... If these events actually did happen in the order that it happens in the game, it's just knowing how everywhere this... How everywhere the Traveler goes. But also, the... I'm pretty sure the second half has the main, like event thing and that is the monstat leoa um poem thing so i guess it's not too out of the ordinary if we're taking the events into play here so i mean hey sorry man you had it coming you were standing in my way Like, why do the guards think they can just stand there? Like, just get out of my way, bro. <clears throat> oh, I have to actually open the doors here. Cringe. Also, Lee Sinkley. Okay, got it. Voice acting! Why is it voice acting? That's kind of weird, but you know what? Go ahead. But fish taste best when they're freshly blasted. Grill them over a fire and they'll turn and smells so good. Is Lisa allowed to shock them? Don't worry. Jean has informed me about all that a while ago. So, I went ahead and placed some orders at Good Hunter. Over the next few days, their chefs will be preparing the best fish fresh from the lake and cooking them right away. <gasps> no way! Freshly cooked fish served with Klee's favorite spices and my specially prepared desserts. <laughs> I'm sure it'll be just as delicious as your catches. Yeah, totally. Okay. Then I'll trust your taste, Lisa. Lisa's doing a great I job. I promise I'll stay in the city and play Donoko's Boomtastic Adventure. She's I leading you on. Fish blasting or make any trouble for Albedo's friend. Albedo's friend? Which one? Sucrose? Does she cause a lot of trouble for Sucrose? Probably. Anyway, I'm going to go look for Miss Honorary Knight and Paimon now. You, pff, you say that when we were in Fontaine two seconds ago. Oh, hi! <laughs> Is someone looking for us? It was pretty rare to see you two together. Miss Honorary Knight and Paimon! No way! We saw you in 3.8 not too long ago. I was just thinking about you and then you appeared! That's just how, how it works. Do that? Oh, did you somehow magically hear Klee's thoughts? That's exactly what happened, oh, yes. Little cutie and Paimon, you're here just in time. Looks like I won't have to go to the trouble of writing you a letter now. Please, wishes summoned us here. She wished for us on the banner. To read in the library. Uh, anyway, what's Donoko's fantastic adventure? It sounds way more fun than reading a book. That's all you do now. <laughs> it's a new game Lisa made for me. We, we set the entire the together. set on fire. You're amazing, Paimon. You remembered the name so quickly. <laughs> yep, she's so smart. Whoa, Look at her. Bro, Lisa is the most recent a uh, standout person from the Sumeru, Sumeru Academia, guys. Do you, did you forget that? In the past 100 years, she's the most prestigious one in the past century. <laughs> I anyway. I drew some inspiration from Shroomsplosion, a game from back when I was a student. It didn't really take too much effort. Yep, as as <clears> too much praise for her. Happy during these unique circumstances, I'm willing to design as many games as she likes. Unique circumsta oh, circumstances. Oh, now that thinks about it, Clee mentioned Albedo's friend, right? Did something happen in Mondstadt? Yep. It's not too serious, but the situation still has to be treated with caution. Of course. Recently, fish species native to Sumeru have begun appearing inside her lake. What's up with Allowing that? Allowing them to spread would put the ecological balance of Mondstadt's waters at risk. So, Clee noticed some fish she'd never seen before while she snuck out to play. She caught a few and showed them to Kaya. 
I was like, what the heck is up with that? If it weren't for Klee, I'm afraid most of the local species would have already receded by the time ordinary citizens fully grasp the situation. Oh, good job, Klee. You saved the world. And if a change occurs Lord in the Mondstadt. underwater ecosystem, it could very well affect the quality of water inside her lake. And that could affect the alcohol. the entire wine industry of Mondstadt could be in danger. And that poses a major threat to our economy. And you know what? How would those fish get there other than someone bringing it there to destroy the wine industry? Guys, it's Diona. She is the culprit. Throw her in prison. <laughs> I saved the day. I even got praised by Master Jean. Well deserved praise indeed. So that's what happened. Oh, good thing Clean noticed the fish before things got out of control. You're your best. The investigation team sent out a few members to inspect Cider Lake and look for the origin of the intruding species. Diona. To avoid disturbing these little invaders, Clee has to keep her treasured bombs away for some time. The investigation uh -oh. team's instruments are extremely sensitive, so any explosion within a certain distance of the lake would affect their data. Okay, well, hey, Jean she's holding back. Clee would definitely get bored being cooped up inside the city all the time. Albano's yeah, me too. busy making improvements to the reconnaissance company's experimental equipment, while Kaya just left for a business trip. Of course. So the task of looking after her fell on my shoulders. Because Kaya is just, he's just everywhere but here. But I'm not bored anymore because Lisa invented Dodokon, fantastic adventure. This honorary night, I'm Paimon. Let's play together. Yeah, count us in. We'll play until sundown. All right. The game table is right over there in the garden. The orders I've placed at Good Hunter will also be delivered there. Please no way. Yourself. Best time ever. It's not every day you get to play games with Klee. Surrounded by the scent of flowers on the breeze, with delicious food delivered right to you. That actually sounds amazing. Can I do that right now? Wait, Lisa? Are you not coming with us? No. Don't you think it'd be a little unfair if the game's creator joined in? I don't want to spoil the fun. Yeah, she'll destroy us. Besides, as the librarian, I still have my basic responsibilities to take care of. Man, her eyes stand out so much. It's actually absurd how much her eyes stand out. She's like uh, attacking me. excuse for staying indoors. Run along now. Have fun playing with Klee. Yep, uh, we'll take good care of Klee. Okay, then. We'll catch you later, Lisa. Ba -ba -da -ba -da. Okay. And away we go. I can't believe they want me to open the doors. Oh, it's out of here. Leave the headquarters. The fact that it's called headquarters, you know, wow. I, I have no idea where I was going with that, but pff, it's the middle of night. Well, Cleet, we got to go back inside. It's nighttime. It'll change today when we get here, probably, though. Oh, how'd I know? Where we'll play Dodoko's fantastic adventure. The table doesn't look big enough. Ooh, Lisa picked a really good spot. Paimon loves it here already. All right, teach us how to play Glee. Kaboom! <laughs> yeah, let's play. G I referenced um, Wind Waker right there. No. <laughs> okay. Let's start the game. Highest score. Bop, 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 bop. This story stage hasn't been unlocked yet. Forget it's the stage is needed. The sleeping Dodoko is so cute. Why did I say it like that? Okay, watch the position of the spiky fish and choose the right special jumpy dumpy after a special jumpy dumpy is thrown. Find the right amount, right time to let it explode, which will make the most of the special jumpy dumpy and blow up the most spiky fish. Okay, armor and wield a tiny sword. The spiky fish warrior is much stronger than regular fish in the cider lake, but it can do nothing but run for its life when confronted by the special Jumpty Dumpties. Defeat the spiky fish warrior to attain one point. Spiky fish with a gorgeous golden appearance and a menacing image. It is said that spiky fish warriors respectfully call them kings. However, why are there many kings just like there are many warriors? Perhaps this is more of a unique title in their tribe than a recognition given to the strongest. After all, a school of kings are invading us. This sounds very, very scary and very, very imposing. <laughs> spiky stone strongholds. A, sto a solid fortification built by spiky fish using stones. It looks like nothing special, but its lower part its lower part seems to be rooted deep underground, thus making a stronghold strong enough to block the impact of a Jumpy Dumpty explosion. To defeat the spike fish hiding behind, you need to find the particular angles to bypass the obstruction of such fortifications. And mint jelly Jumpy Dumpties, it goes into four, and this one goes into th uh, three by three. 
Okay, so this is Bomberman, right? Defeat the spiky fish warrior using Jumpy Dump. Oh, bro, I'm so happy that they're using this music, man. All the music in 3.8 was so good. I loved all of it. After using Spectral Dump, it his, his comes into contact with spiky fish or objects along his path, it will automatically explode. After throwing Spectral Dump, you can press the throw button again and cause it to explode immediately. You can use this method to get most of this thing. Blah, 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 blah. So. Okay, here's the deal. Then... Bop, okay. Okay. Mm. Bop. Yeah, I feel like I can't get these ones with the crosses, so... Hum. Bop. Bop. Oh, okay. Just find the best way to get all of them. Okay, I see you. Whoa, I got over 35. Wow, I'm so good, guys. Look at that, 39. Wow. Select stage. Uh -huh. Oh, look, I can just go to the next stage. Hmm, okay. So, oh, so now I can throw it from different sides. Also, this moving dodoko is so cute. Whoever made this, congrats. You're the best. Um, okay, well, what does this one do? Um, one second. Select stage. Let me read what it does. What does this thing do? A special Jumpy Dumpy whose color reminds you of berry cakes. Okay, so it does a huge cross. The Spark Knight and Dodoko are learning to make the super duper dessert. With the combination of cream and jam, every single bite is satisfaction enough for the taste buds. The explosion AoE is just like the one during the cake battle. A big, big cross. However, Spark Knight and Dodoko never waste any food, not to mention any sweet, sweet desserts. Yeah, how could they and why would they? Okay, so we got a small cross, but we also got a big cross. Now, who, what would we do in this situation? Now, you think that idea was stupid, and I kind of agree with you, but, okay, that wasn't as big as I thought it was gonna be. Okay, we're gonna retry. We're gonna retry this darn challenge, okay. Uh-huh. Okay. That did not go the way I thought it would. Um, okay, okay. No. Nope. Okay, we're restarting. Oh, this one's, I actually have to think for two seconds. This is stupid, okay. <laughs> Me, use my brain, I'm good. Nope, okay, well, I messed that one up. Okay, retry challenge, okay, here we go, once more. I only get two of these, and obviously I want to use it on the golden ones. We already know that. Okay. Uh-huh. Um, I think I see what I'm supposed to do. Mm. Okay, and we have one more. Oh, no. Oh, wait, 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 wait. No, 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 that's fine. We'll just do this. Yeah, okay, that's fine. Boom! That's what I'm talking about. It was easy. It's just I had to use my brain for a few seconds. 39, 38. Okay, well, I got the max. Stage select. We can keep on going. All right. Now we got some spiky, sneaky seagrass. Of course, you know, like you do. <coughs> The seagrass used as hiding places by spiky fish, but is but it seems that the seagrass cannot conceal the rotund outlines of those fish. As fragile as it might look, the seagrass can block one explosion from special Jumpty Dumpties. Excuse me, when the seagrass is placed in a line, trouble is sure to ensue. 
Well, okay. And let's look at... We got... Um, we got the... Oh, wait. We got a new one. We got the 3x3 three three and the small cross. Tomato Pepper Jumpty Dumpty. A special Jumpty Dumpty that bears a resemblance to tomato peppers. Spark Knight and Dodoko once held a foreign adventurer and received a special thank you gift called Juan Chili. Uh, Juyun Chilies. Which tastes super spicy when cooked with tomatoes. Hmm, the chili is added to a Jumpty Dumpty. Will its power be even greater? The explosion already is like a spray sparks. An impressive diamond, impressive diamond-like shape. And so now I can withstand frontal blast, but said seagrass will be obliterated after a single explosion. Okay, well, there's definitely a lot of seagrass here, but you know what they say. Alright, that's a really big one. I'm gonna go back to this one. Okay, good. Now, um, Herm. I can change sides, okay. We can do a three by three here. Why not? You know, okay. Well, I feel like we can do this. Um, whoops. I mean, I kind of messed up, but we can just do this, right? That is not what I meant to do, but hey, you know what? Problem solved. Okay. So that's the most I can do. I have to wait. 12 hours, then stage, stage, stage. Okay, okay. Let's get my rewards for now. All right. Well, that was that. Two, uh, uh, 140. 70 more. I don't want to do the math after 140. Wow, that's crazy. Look at that, guys. We totally did that. What? The, why? I don't get why this guy still... Like, we get it. This guy owns the hotel that no one can go into. Uh, yeah, we'll, we'll probably go there eventually. Eventually. Helga. What's up? Hello, great hero of Mondstadt. I'm Helga, a delivery person for Good Hunter. How may I help you? Uh, don't let me keep you. Later. Take care, you two. Drop by the Good Hunter whenever you're free and treat yourself to a great meal. All right, sure. I can do that. Um, not right now, though. I'm busy. Oh, I love how cute that is. And I can't wait to get this cute little dodo go. Yeah. Um, <clears throat> I am fine. Finish this one, too. I've been here before. I mean, hey, I mean... I've done I've done some exploration on it. Now, this one I got a hundred on accident, and then we got ninety four, ninety three, eighty six, eighty six. Oh wow, eight, double eighty six. Hey, that's cool. I haven't gone everywhere I hear though, and I know a few quests I can do, and blah blah blah, all all the fun stuff. But I think I'll just keep the stream here, you know, since we all had such a great time already doing the Nouvellet character story. Uh, I quite enjoyed it. I thought it was good. And, you know, that... Sure, the event thing wasn't very long. It was cute. And it was voice acted. And that's cool. You know, that's what we like to see. But, yeah, I do kind of hate that they took lines that were said 400 years in the past. I know this is, like, my third time saying it, but it does kind of bother me still that that's what happened. Because they misused those lines very badly. <laughs> Anyways, I'll see you guys next time on Tuesday. I'll be streaming. Wait, actually, I might be streaming tomorrow because I work I work really late that day, which means I have plenty of time beforehand to stream. So I might be streaming tomorrow, and if I don't stream tomorrow, I'm 100% streaming on Tuesday uh, around 4 p.m. my time, uh, and I will be playing Minecraft with my sister again because that's what I do on Tuesdays now. And then I'll be streaming on Thursday probably at 10 a.m. Also Genshin. 
you know the way it is. I'll see you guys next time.